There we go. <laughs> Whew. Part three. Wait, hold on. Player profile. What's that? Is this what I think it is? Yes. We're already almost at a thousand plays. That's incredible. Oh, I guess instant research doesn't count as a death. Interesting. Oh, was in the weird hole in the ice caves? Oh man, I can't believe you haven't seen it yet. It's on Reddit and in our Discord, and it's my top clip. <laughs> Someone will post the clip for you, don't worry. I'm sure. Hey, I have an average time and not a best time? Um, presumably because I haven't won. Play adventure mode to unlock seated runs. Ooh. And then there's deathmatch. Tournament! There's a tournament drill set! What? Spooky deathmatch tournaments? $10,000 prize pools? Yeah, the clip has 2,000 views. That happens if you post it on a subreddit. But yeah, that, that clip is probably it, I think. Needless to say, what was behind that door was excellent. It couldn't have been better. I'm so happy. Still, I'm still so happy right now. Okay, I have heard a rumor that this character is excellent. So we're playing this character today. You should see any data you collected about Zoldath. I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's spectacular. All right, anyway. Hello, everybody. Good morning. I just woke up. This is the third stream of Spelunky 2. The last two have both been pretty crazy powerful. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up the power, but I'm sure as heck gonna try. Get the antenna out, look up. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> hey, hey, Anna, what? <laughs> wanna see something crazy? No, wa wait, don't wanna see something crazy? Oh, see it? <laughs> hey, I look. I don't. I don't. Hey, hey, pilot, 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 look, 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 look. Oh, oh, wait, no, no, don't look. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, please don't hurt your shoulder. Okay, so, what's on my mind? First of all, I would like to beat the game. I would like to do that today. Beating the game is, is something that I've been avoiding doing because I've been too distracted by other things. So today, I'm going to try to just beat the game. Like just a normal, regular victory, okay? Oh, 
Oh, I didn't see. I wasn't looking. No. I have to. I have to do it again. I need to see what it was. What do you? What do you do? <laughs> Risa Bellemio. Squishy, thank you for the prime sub for two months. Jerry Kitty, good luck on our Twitch. For as long as you're subscribed. I appreciate OP, so thank you. Yeah, the hearts are colored to the character's color theme. So this character is, um, like white or gray. I haven't been really doing any speedrunning or slow running much at all. Like. I mean, yesterday we just spent the entire day trying to test an idea I had, which wound up being a somewhat significant secret. Also, the ghost pot got blown up, so that's a, that's a thing. Now I know why the ghost pot isn't just sitting around. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Also, I might have discovered a shopkeep robbery, or looked at a shopkeep robbery that is consistent, but I'm gonna just instead... this. Didn't quite blow him up, but... Bye-bye! See you later! No, I haven't played Dungeon Defenders. That's right, Deadly, no worries. <laughs> Very much the same game with new textures. I mean, it's Spelunky, but there's a bunch of new stuff and it's just subtly different enough that everything is basically changed. There's a lot more emphasis on the world itself in case that wasn't clear. The world is more full of stuff. Like a lot more full of stuff. Um, there's an emphasis on like the new characters and stuff. There's an entire hub area with all the characters walking around and like building up in it. Um, there's branching paths. There's, you'll see, you'll see. It looks the same. But it is not the same. Okay, so I still don't know how to beat this lady, but I have an idea. Okay, that's probably not it then. Okay, so she's just a uh, head that takes damage like Yama then, I guess. So if I like cook a bomb at her, she'll probably not like that. I have one health, by the way. Yeah, it's straight up like Yama 2. But now I have a jetpack. But uh, you can't do this with a jetpack. You need like a hover pack. But we need to check at least. Okay, it doesn't feel like jetpack. Cool. I knew it! 
I knew it! The jetpack refuel no longer works on ropes, for example. You do have to land if you're on a rope. I'm not sure if ledge grabs count. Either way, I, I didn't really care about beating the game as much as I cared about knowing how to kill the boss, which is apparently just the same as it used to be. Um, so that's good to know. Okay. Well, now... Okay. I'm trying to, like, think, because the Ankh not working at the Moai still messed with me. That was, that was not something I was ready to come to terms with. Uh... And I'm like trying to think where else the freaking Ankh could possibly be used. Like. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Because we get Ankh here. Oh my god. This character is too good. Jesus, I'm almost gonna not use it because it's so good. Ugh. Okay. So. I doubt it would be just on any random level. Do you think it's the speedrun mechanic? That feels like it would be weird. This thing. Like, I don't know, maybe, but. All right, I've been poisoned. I still kind of wish it was, like, a little less difficult to know how to cleanse status effects, because it seems like they just happen, and they stay. Also, yes, yeah, just a heads up. This is a no-spoiler suggestion hint. Speculation zone. Um... Those belong in our second chat, which will be hosting the stream at all times. Um, you can discuss as many spoiler-related, suggestion-related, hit-related things as you want in that chat. Just don't do it here. I don't understand. Like, it's not like the poison goes away after you get one. I should probably try this. I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna die. I guess it's just lighting torch it. Yep, I died. Yeah, the Kali stat statue is scary. Yeah, if the question is, could you do this, and does this do this, you might be either suggesting or spoiling me with a question. Ugh. So don't. That's the that's the best way about it. If you're like really worried, you can whisper a mod. Okay. It's not a spoiler, but it did appear to be a suggestion based upon the first line. And if you suggest the solution for me, why, isn't that the same result? I mean... Hold on. Oh, 
I'm getting way better at doing that. Thank goodness, too. There was a freaking... No, okay, that was just the same guy. I thought there was a bodybuilder. I uh, never mind. This just says, too bad I got here first. Is it that caveman? Is he selling coral? No, he's selling something that's behind the coral. <laughs> I can't tell what it is, though. He is selling a straight-up pot, though. Or is he selling coral? He might be. I kind of want to find it. Do you think it's just, like, in this general area? Anyway, I don't think it has anything to do with Madame Tusk. I think Madame Tusk is her own little thing. This is hilarious. What is up with that? This seems odd. Why would this be like this? Oh, it's a tutorial. Okay, never mind. All makes sense now. God, I miss back whipping. I don't see anything that it could be on this level. Doesn't mean it isn't on that level, I just don't see it. Ugh. Gotta find a push block to enter the cave and shop. <laughs> uh, the sub areas generally fit the mold, yeah. As far as I understand. Can you take a die to a different level? I'm pretty sure you can't. I think it's a happy item. There's a Kali altar. the freaking idol, but there's no way that's what the Ankh is for. That's ridiculous. Oh, it's for the bear traps. You can get bear trapped and then not die. I'm fairly certain this is just hedge it bound. I don't think the Ankh is required for this piece of work. But I guess I should find out if that's true. Like, I am making that assumption. Boldly and plainly. So, let's find out. Because if it's the Ankh that's required to get that sword, then maybe the Ankh doesn't even need to be expended. Maybe that's not how it works anymore. Doggos. Say bye, thank you for the tier one sub for five months. Enjoy your Kanuga dogs. Doggos. All throughout Twitch. For as long as you're subscribed, I appreciate it. I hope you're swell. Thank you very much. How dare you, Unova? How dare you be excited about... Get out. Please don't get out. Please don't. I'll miss you. Dude, I'm figuring out the arrow whip. That's good. 
I also am figuring out the ghost, so let's get to work with this. Next, I'll figure out how to whip a pot properly. It'll be great. Perfect. Not perfect, okay. The one thing that I still am not used to yet gonna take time is that the way the ghost moves in this game it doesn't just diagonally snap to you like it did in the first um it kind of like lags in the vertical direction horizontally it follows you pretty much to a t most of the time anyway it might be lag in just one general direction that was just me not knowing how to use a controller <laughs> it coming. Okay. Cool. The ghost splits. Yeah, it's terrifying. She, by the way. The ghost appears upon breaking the pot with a diamond in it. Um, it'll appear naturally at three minutes, but you can force it to spawn whenever by breaking that pot, which is a huge addition to the game because if any of you watch score runs, you remember me just sitting there doing nothing until the 2.30 timer came up a lot of the time. <clears throat> Clover delays go spawn to five minutes. Right now I'm gonna check if the Hedget alone can unlock the sword, because that's what I'm assuming. And if the hedge it doesn't let me get the sword, that means the Ankh does. Um, so we'll see. And then after that, I might mess around with like, can I even get the Ankh with the hedge it? Because every time I've gotten the Ankh, I've had the hedge it. It might be that the Ankh only spawns if you have the hedge it. I don't think that's true, but I, that's the, the key word there is think. I don't think. Um, as a general rule. Unless it's the dumbest thing possible, my brain is turned off. But the moment I see a hole in the wall, one block above the ground, and a push block, my brain is in maximum overdrive. Where was the freaking Ujidai thing? Oh my god. I missed it. Well, this is gonna get interesting. Allergic to ghosts. Oh, goodness gracious. We're experimenting on Ankh and Hedge and stuff right now, because I don't know anything about either of them. The crown and the scepter clearly let me go to the city gold. That one I don't need to check. Yet. I don't need to check yet. Let's not get ahead of ourselves that I never need to check it.
It's okay. Eventually, it'll be the weekend, and I'll still be streaming Lunky 2. The crown is found under Volcana in Vlad's castle. I guess I'm using a rope on this. I'm down to one rope, but I'm not too fond of it. Taste is good. Bomb box is also good. I'm kind of sad that doesn't work anymore. You used to be able to, if you were, like, lingering on the ledge, you'd be able to make that whip, but not anymore. All right, hold on, ready? Do that. And then we get gold, and it's exactly not enough to buy the bomb box. It was supposed to be epic because then I could get the bomb box and get back up here without a rope, but now it won't work because I suck. Whatever. Two bombs for 10 still isn't bad. Dang deadly. Uptakes channel points are not long for this world. Tier three sub for seven. I was so distracted <laughs> for seventeen months. Enjoy your cute eggy doggos on this channel for as long as you're subscribed to Tier Three. I appreciate so Thank you. right when they start their exit animation. That's brutal, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> this was hydraulic fluid several months ago. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the freaking Ujidai. It might not be, but I think it is. It's not, cool. Ooh, but that's Kali. There's no mistaking that. Oh God. Well, I did open up the Kali altar. I just forgot I didn't have paste. <laughs> I was holding the right button. I didn't mean to do that. Look, it's gonna take me a second to get used to controller again. Hey! No. Gold is for me, not you. Just go over there. Oh God. Whatever, it's fine. It's 
it's worth it. One health for one health, that's a fair trade. at one health you don't need to be cursed the idea that the ghost pot might fall on you and set you at one health is kind of horrifying okay i'll take a compass why not i love the little footsteps man it's incredible Ugh. oh yeah i was number two when i started streaming it got posted to the subreddit, that's why. Oops. Okay. Like, all of my highest clips have some reasoning. Oh my god! This level is suddenly uh, about to get ghosted, in fact. I mean, I might die because I'm still not super familiar with ghosting, but that's like, okay. That's kind of the whole idea is that we die to it now to be familiar with it later. <laughs> but if we can get a jetpack first, it'll save me some trouble. Actually, we can get the jetpack. As long as we break the ghost pot at the shop instead of just nowhere. And we can get the idol. remember that ropes don't refuel because I could make very scary mistakes if I don't remember that. No! I... Oh! The skull fell on the idol so it triggered early. I have to keep that in mind. But I was being antsy because there was a spooky ghost. Alright, we'll save another run for the jetpack, I guess. The bone piles can drop skulls, what a shocker. And when they do, said skulls can drop, said skulls can drop directly onto the idol and that will make the trap trigger, so. I gotta try it, I, like, come on. Dragon, I can't thank you for the prime, so I appreciate it. Oh my God, my voice. Enjoy your kidding your dogs out there on Twitch for as long as you're subscribed. I hope you're well, thank you. Come on, come on. It's possible I've done it. I've done it twice. It's just so, so much harder in this game. Oh, come on. Yeah, I've done it twice. One of those times I was doing it to say that I can't do it, and then I did it on the first try. Oh my god, I, it kills me! I wish that trick wasn't so much harder. Like, I'm okay with it being harder, but this is, this is just, oh! It might just be controller and latency. Maybe once I get a keyboard, it'll be super easy, but... Maybe it has more to do with, um, like, a, the left and right motion than the coyote frame. 
don't think it does, but... Look at all these suspicious push blocks. Honestly? That one looks kind of like Waddler. I'm gonna try it, why not? All right, we established it's not Waddler. Pots right there. That's worth a bomb, why not? It's worth two bombs, why not? Is there only one coyote frame? I don't know. I am not sure. I doubt it's a one frame thing. That'd be really rough. But it might be only like two, which would make it twice as hard. And honestly, it would make it more than twice as hard, in my opinion. Really? Okay, I didn't take the damage there, I don't think. Do I take climbing gloves? I can't afford it, sorry. It's out of my hands, I tried. I, I tried really hard, but I can't afford it. There's nothing I can do. Food Spelunky 2. This game is what sustains me now. Alright, I'm figuring out these arrow traps. We also have a Kali Altar, which is clearly an important thing to me. We have the Ujidai. This is going to be a busy level. Do I use the last bomb here? I would rather use it there. Okay. That's two favor. bad at the upward arrow trap, uh, arrow whips rather, which to be fair was always the hardest one for me in Splunky HD. Arrow whips are super easy when all you have to do is like path down, but going up makes them way harder. Did I just, do I not get the Ujidai because I don't have bombs? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hi Kabilic. How oh, do you have it? It's not out yet? Yes it is. It's just not on PC. Tragically, there are other consoles. I'm well, I mean, it depends upon what your definition of a mech suit is, really. Honestly, like, all of the characters from Lunky HD are so much better now. Green Girl is amazing. Golden Man is amazing. Robot is oh my god tier. I think the ghost spawns relative to the pot breaking, not to the character. Based upon that just there. Ah, I missed the jump. <clears throat> yeah, you guys can watch the VOD or you can wait long enough and we'll eventually have YouTube content. What an idea. Come on, ghost. Let's dance.
All right, cool. <clears throat> Hi, Trey. Hi, Death Strike. I've been sleeping okay, in general. I've been sleeping better than usual. You yeah, know, we didn't get many diamonds, which is, I think, one of the saddest things about this game. Like, I desperately hope that if we get a patch, that there will be many diamonds in that patch. Because it's this one thing that I think everyone collectively has always wanted, and we just never have gotten, is many diamonds. Well, that's a pretty weak shop, but... We got... We got ghosting going on the last level, so we might as well. So what if we do that? Man. Maybe the move is to whip the idol from the inside and then also, by extension, whip the um, bone stuff. Because that might whip it far enough to not get crushed, I'm not sure. Specs presumably do what they do in the last game, which is um, reveal gems in the crust and make dark levels brighter. They definitely do the gem thing. I don't know about dark levels, though. Hmm. <sighs> I have gotten that idol before, yeah. I mean, if that, if those bone piles don't drop skulls, whipping it is perfectly fine, but sometimes they drop skulls, which means it's not always gonna be perfectly fine, as I am clearly showing recently. Um, okay. Do we buy it all? Nah, we don't want the compass. Dude, couldn't have been better. I'll happily overpay for Spring Shoes, the best item in Spelunky 2. I'll happily take damage for no reason. My signature move in Spelunky 2. I guess we could do like... Here, here, here. Check this out. I don't know why, but I thought the push block would fall. If it did, this would have been perfect, but it didn't, so we'll just use a rope. Here are the bits. Wait, I should probably get the Ujidai. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Here's the vault. Okay, so let's sacrifice the damsel. I don't like the skeleton key, to be honest. Or a cape. Either is good. Yo! That's the better of the two. Um, I think we don't worry too much about Kali on this level. It doesn't look like a level that's really gonna be Kali favorable. Get it? Get it? Cause, because Kali operates on a favor system. That's the funniest thing. Okay. We're out of here. Um, I beat the boss and then died afterwards. And then I got a phone call just now. That's pretty cool. I'm a fan. Okay, go away, phone. Didn't ask. Ugh. Okay. Beating of drums. Should be a good level to just ghost a ton of money worth. There's the ghost pot. You probably use a rope here.
cool. Again. Okay, I need to be careful. If he has a ceiling above him, he's never gonna do the pile drive, which is what creates new layers, so. Okay, I didn't think he'd aggro there. way closer, I guess, than I actually was. Because as far as I understand, I think, um, he rolls based upon proximity. And that did not feel proximate enough to force a roll, but it did, so it doesn't matter. need to get used to ghosting while doing a level. Okay, this is the worst possible thing. No! Am I doomed? Not yet. New ghost, I'm not gonna lie. New go like old ghost kinda sucks compared to new ghost. Because in that situation, with old ghost, I would have just been like, okay, I'm gonna move to the left. Okay, now I'm gonna move to the right. Okay. I moved to the left and to the right, therefore I got the gem. With new ghost, I have to like understand where both of them are going and plot a path based upon both of them, which is probably not gonna be just go left and right, right? Could you get this? I don't think it's gonna go to the emerald. Yeah, this, see the pathing is so different that you can't just get that emerald. Why did I think this would work? <laughs> yeah, uh, cavemen and tiki men just talk to each other if they get close to each other. I need to stop taking damage. Dude, these je uh, these chests. Of this mole? You live there now. I didn't mean to put him up on the ceiling, I'm gonna be honest. I meant to put him on the left. I didn't mean to grab that emerald either. Whatever, I'm out of here. I don't need this. Hey, you wound up on the left anyway. The ghost pot curses things, and when something gets cursed, it 
is one shot. So if I throw the damsel into the ghost pot, the damsel gets cursed. I'm just dead. Do you think like standing still cures it? It might, might just be two additional damage. No, it's it's not. I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I know exactly how it works with phase two. It's just the normal ghost and then there's one that rotates around you. Phase three adds two more, one that lags behind and one that seems to overshoot. You also don't need to post bits to get me to read your messages, Trey, just to be clear. I will try to read them as much as I can. The bits will generally not sway me anymore. One health, which is, I should have been at two, but I'm not poisoned. So I guess the damsel cures poison, but not being cursed. Okay. Understood. Give her 10 bits. Ooh, yes. Thank you. Well, all right, we're in an awkward spot, but you know what? That hasn't stopped me before. It has, just. It, sometimes I've made it through. Just throw the freaking torch. No need to get silly about this. Oh, that's a kill? Do arrow traps do three damage in dark levels? What? Oh. Okay, well, here's a question. Ooh. Good to know. So, the turkeys don't need to be alive to give you that health. Okay, well, will a torch do it? Because it's on fire. Yes, it will! Ooh. I don't even necessarily need to use my bombs. Speaking of which. I'm right out of there. <clears throat> Please don't kill animals. Uh, too late. Uh, specs let you see gems in the crust and theoretically give you better visibility in dark levels. Which I think I could have tested just then, but then didn't. So I might be the worst of all time. These gems are tempting me. Keep forgetting to let him walk out from there.
There's like no gems here, so I guess I'm not gonna bother ghosting it. This doesn't feel worth it for one gem. Oh, this poor guy's dying. Yeah, you have fun. What's in here? Cool. We can also kill that guy for health as well. I'm gonna... Let's try this. Here's an idea. Does this work? I hope it does, because if it doesn't, we're in a predicament. Uh, I'm too nervous to check it without... Whatever, just use the bomb to keep us alive. So you can curse him with the ghost pot and make him one-shotable. And then you just need to throw something at him. So that's pretty good. Because he drops a bomb bag and um, one health, so. I like how there's a full-on egg debate going on. This is incredible. Can you curse everything? Uh, I mean, it seems like you can curse a lot of things at least. I don't know about everything, right? There might be some things that are just immune. Like those, those like voodoo guys might be <sighs> immune to cursing. <laughs> I didn't see the bear trap. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Three ropes. It's worth it. Three ropes for 5k? That's technically a discount, I'm just saying. No! No! I doubt you can curse Olmec, because Olmec generally has not been impacted by anything that touches him. Um, but you might be able to curse uh, Tiamat. Who is to say? Boy, I'm doing a really bad job of testing the hedget, huh? It's doing way better yesterday. I guess I have to warm up still. We did. I like how there's like a whole group of people that left in the middle of the chaos, or by chaos I mean mundanity of me testing the push block. And then there's the group of people that stayed the whole time. <laughs> and one is now informing the other. go for the damsel here. Spikes. You guys could just get the, clo the clip on hand too. Like if one of you just has the clip to post, <laughs> it'd be a lot easier. Uh, we could get Kapala here. Not from this caveman, but on this level. Because there's another turkey somewhere, and we can tame that to make the sacrifice safe. So we might get another 1-2 Kapala. Could also maybe get this caveman if I am a god. But this will be easier. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll have to use a couple bombs for this. No, no, that's not true. We can just... Nice! 
One dash two Kapala, always a welcome sight. <laughs> an idiot. Always a welcome sight. No! Your blood. Uh, I need that caveman. Your services are still required, mister. Such a peaceful dead man. You know what? For God's sake, we can just go spot. If this level's gonna be like this. And no, I'm not even gonna ghost the sapphire. The emerald, though, hmm, this is tempting. give you a heart just a random thought I believe they do I've saved cursed damsels before can the caveman grab the ghost pot I don't know I think it's always in a spot that a caveman isn't likely to reach but they might be able to grab it anyone have any good relics I should start on how about spelunky 2 that one's pretty cool um I mean rope piles worthwhile so let's start getting to work on blood collection if that guy starts spitting blood everywhere we could get that going no ah! What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Am I gonna die with a freaking Kabbalah on 1 2? God, I really do get rusty when I go to bed. Jesus. It only takes me 12 hours a day to get good with a controller. Uh, we could sell the idol, but I forgot, so let's not. Do I have to scare them to make, like, is this how it works? Yeah, okay. Ah, no. The worst mummy farm of all time. works and that's what matters. <laughs> yes! This is ridiculous and I love it. No! Why'd you jump, you idiot? Oh, the freaking Ujidai. Why is it always when I'm getting in a ghost situation that the Ujidai shows up? It's right here. It's fine. worst of all time. <laughs> Look, we didn't need a 1-2 Kapala, okay? We don't need to ever succeed. 
I'll spend as many hours as it takes to throw until I can play the game correctly again. Maybe I need to just run the ice caves for like two hours straight. That's clearly the practice strat. Oh, I'm not trying to win anymore. I just wanted to kill the boss earlier, which I already did. This is just for hedge and testing, which is similar to winning, but not. Damn. That, uh, like, ledge whipping mechanic is interesting, but in situations like that, it kind of just gets in the way, unfortunately. Not the best time for the split, but, you know. Yeah. I really needed the happy ghost to not be on the upper left at that moment. I wonder how easy it's gonna be able to be to predict those situations. Where the happy ghost, because I mean the happy ghost rotation is constant, but I wonder if we'll just develop a sixth sense for where in the rotation the happy ghost needs to be to do stuff. Because that rotation can be pretty damaging depending upon the situation. I'm going to start actually doing these now that I know that torches have... The well, no, because this will go out in the exit transition, right? Yeah, okay. But on levels with turkeys in them, I should look into these things. This guy's gonna be dead no matter what I do, unfortunately. don't want to play this level fast because it is the turkey level so we can get Kapala again okay oh can you just pick them up when they're tamed I don't even need to hurt them oh my god <laughs> Try to not kill stuff actually. He says immediately killing something. Um, we do need to get that damsel. So let's sort that out. The freaking mole scared me. Okay, it's alive. That was important. Also, might as well. Turkey's right there. And we got another piece of rope, which is good. Not that way, please. Right here. Okay, and then I should be able to just carry you, right? We need one more thing. We'll just get a caveman corpse. This is gonna put us right into the ghost timer and I'm gonna die again. So just like mentally prepare for that chat. That's what's going to happen. It's not speculation, it's reality. Okay. Spawn here. 
What does Tricky Guy even give? He gives you a little key and you can go get his treasure, which is like a gem in a crate sometimes. It's not particularly exciting. Uh oh. Well, that was a pitcher's mitt, at least. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, cool. Kapala is a lot easier to get. I guess I could have gotten the eggplant, that's true. But God, it is not eggplant time right now. We'll get there, but not now. Uh, I sacrificed two turkeys. Turkeys are worth um, two favor alive and one dead. See, so we have our Ujidai. You can just die, dude. This jump is kind of weird to make. I love the stupid little blinking awake thing. Just ding, ding, ding. So that Ujidai is actually kind of concerning because I only have one bomb. The key is blocked off, so I have to use the bomb there. Luckily, this is not blocked off, so we're not doomed, but being at zero bombs is a pretty bad situation to be in. Especially given that the black market exists, so... Wait, am I dumb? I thought it was down here. It's not. It's up there. Why am I like this? Look, I have a memory of at maximum seven seconds, okay? Any more? I can't do it. I'm sorry. I've tried in the past, just hasn't worked. Come here. Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. Any sort of blocked off levels yet? Yes. I got one in the sixth area, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it was blocked off, but I'm not positive, so. Do we do uh, Mummy Vomit Farm 2.0? Goodness gracious. We'll put him right here, he's gonna die. Oh, he might live. Yeah. All right, we got two extra blood out of that. It was worth it. deal with the kitty later. No, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine, whatever. Oh my God! hanging. It was nice getting to know you.
Okay. Is this gonna be one of these situations again? Ugh, I don't like this. I guess I just have to lose the cat. Well... Oh! Am I God? I might be God. Alright, so this guy should start being a mummy bomb farm. Yeah! And I killed him. Sorry! Sorry! Alright, I guess we're out of here. Not the worst situation to be in, but my mobility kind of sucks and I have no bombs. So actually kind of terrible. See you later, Gwen. I you just delete all that. We'll get there. Just don't want to rush it, you know? Oh my god, they dropped so much blood! <sighs> Spring shoes make those a lot more... uncomfy. I'll say that much, it's the, it's the one balancing mechanic for spring shoes, otherwise they're the most broken item in the game. It appears the black market isn't here. It appears I'm dead. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. I mean, on a run with zero bombs, we're kind of doomed to begin with because it's like, unless we get a lucky crate or a good shop, I mean, we're just not gonna be able to get to the black market and we need to get to the black market for what I'm doing, so. Can't really ghost this. Well, we could maybe with happy ghost. Maybe I should try, like, specifically ghosting with Happy Ghost in mind. Ooh. Is that jump not doable? Okay, I kinda wanna, hmm. I kinda wanna see if that jump's doable. Our overall goal is to test if the hedget is required for the sword and the stone. Um, but generally right now I'm just trying to warm up again because I'm playing like garbage. On the side we're testing ghosting and trying to get used to that as well. This new ghost is so different that we've got a lot of work to do in that regard. <laughs> oh, there was a command made. Perfect. Ugh. Yeah. The ghost turns any gems it touches into diamonds. Hedge it works on the City of Gold. Uh, can we? I guess we could. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Okay, interesting. This is the Ujidai level. And I hear. 
Wait, freaking Kapala. Oh my god, I just forgot. Or Alter. Whatever. You know what I mean. Well, we got two dead bodies. That's two favor that we wouldn't have had otherwise. My VOD, the first VOD to my editor, floats. Um, so he's gonna be working on making stuff out of that. I've kind of let floats do whatever he wants with the videos. Um, I was kind of just like, here is the content. Uh, see if you can make something interesting out of it, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so hopefully we can get a video out like as early as the end of this week. But that is a very hopeful perspective, so don't don't like mark it on your calendar or anything. Um, and then hopefully I can get the second vod to floats um, by tomorrow. It is a little bit difficult because the vods are huge, uh, so my drive is not super happy. I might upgrade my drive storage space just to be able to keep the bods up, basically. Could these arrow traps, like, chill out a bit? It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm alive. It doesn't look like it, but I am. Looking for turkeys. I have bad news. Is it safe? Yeah. No. Grab this. We need it for Thanksgiving, of course. the other turkey is, so I guess we're just gonna have a light Thanksgiving today. Oh. That's embarrassing. It's still worth it. Oh my god. Now it's arguable. Now it is extremely arguable. <laughs> this is about a compilation of clips. We might do that too, but that's gonna take a bit more time, so. And those are also going to just innately be better the more time we give clips to surface. Like we could do one every week, but. It just seems better to give it more than two days for something like that. Even though I have certainly had a fair few clip-worthy moments, if I do say so myself. Guys, I think the compass is broken. It's pointed to two places. Oh, he fell. We could kill him again. Like, that's an option. With the ghost pot? I'm not gonna ghost this time. No, wait. 
What? You suck. Okay, I think it's time to kill him. Oh god. Alright, we are changing the strategy slightly. Oh, this is doable without a rope, but it's annoying. Okay. And then we need to use this on him. Let's check this little area first. Them with ghost pot. So the way the ghost pot works is that anything it hits is cursed, and anything that's cursed is one shotable. So if you throw the ghost pot at him, anything else that you throw at him will kill him. <laughs> this looks familiar, Jesus. Okay. Kitty, come on, kitty. this why 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 okay bye see ya i hate that i hate it what is this robot skin it's the cutest of all time jans you have no idea look at this oh god just wait until you see a push block just wait until you see a push block, I'm telling you. Wait. Did, oh, yeah, okay, never mind. I was like, what happened? Why did I die there? Controller happened. I hit whip instead of jump first. And the new whip mechanic is that, and you can't do that on a tree over spikes. I'm sad. I saw people on the subreddit saying Volcana was harder, and God, I have to disagree so strongly with the idea that Volcana is harder. Jungle is way worse to me. Oh my God, did you see it? Did you see the push block? Did you see the cute little animation? a little too good. Oh. That damsel went on a freaking journey. <gasps> Is it all the way at the bottom? Jeez. Didn't even need me the whole time. I was just waiting to show off. There you are. Jeez. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. I'm out of there. See ya. Strike security, that's fair. The lava definitely makes Vulcana have difficulty, but I don't think it's worse than the jungle. I think jungle far outweighs the difficulty of Vulcana personally. Which is why subjectivity exists, you know? We're gonna be bold. Poor turkey doesn't even know what happened. A turkey would honestly be nice for ghosting. That double jump can give you a lot of ver verticality you wouldn't otherwise have. Down to zero ropes is a bit problematic, but... Mm. I was meaning to dismount, but I got really scared <laughs> and panicked. <laughs> mm. 
the ropes for cords with the plug, are they? That's incredible. Yeah, Happy Ghost kills you. Um, let's like specifically test Happy Ghost. Like, hold on. Because I have an idea of how Happy Ghost works, but... I mean, it's just a speculation until I actually check. Where's the dang ghost pot? It's never around when you need it. It's only around when you're lightly tempted by it. Show me the freaking ghost pot. There it is. Okay, so... Oh, it does spawn on the player. Interesting. This was a, this was a good seat too. This was a freaking 1-2 Kapala. <laughs> and I just am not gonna have it now, that sucks. It is a plug. That's amazing. Okay, so I think Exactly. So the whole point of Happy Ghost is that you can never move in the direction that it is because you will catch up with it immediately and I'm not sure, but it might slow down too. So the idea of the Happy Ghost is that it blocks a certain direction at all times. Yeah, the, the ghost movement, it's not a straight line towards you. It does like slightly, okay, let's try this. No. Um, it's It does kind of slightly lag. It's weird, I don't know how to describe it, but it's not a direct path and it's been messing with me. I think it moves in a curved direct line towards you. Dude, it's freaking Rich's time. It's I can't whip a bowl properly time. Dude, get owned. Wait, he hit me? What do you mean he hit me? Sorry, Kiki. It had to be done. What on God's earth is happening? The kitty is dead, I am hurt. There could be nothing worse. Wait, I've made a horrible error. Um, bye, 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 bye. Ugh. Moon's green earth. Uh, God's green moon? Uh, you're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, we have to do this, right? It's the turkey level with the altar. Uh, that was perfect, I think. Uh, actually, not quite perfect. But I mean, the Kapala is where. Oh. Oh, hey. Kapala is worth an extra rope either way. Especially if a jetpack's on the level. This could be a huge run now. What is it worth? 20,000? Oh, come on. I need a little bit more money. Just like a little smidge. to make me work for it. <sighs> oh, come on, I'm at one health. So for now, we can't actually sacrifice the damsel unless this works. Well, here we go. Can't say it hasn't gotten interesting. Mm. 
so many packs in there. Jet pack, hover pack, and telepack all in one. So we're not getting Kapa on this level. It's a little bit too bad. Sure. Yeah, I get it. You're happy. Is the male damsel playable? I don't know. I also thought Yang might get mad at me. <laughs> Cool. one health and I hate it. Like, can I just... Where's the damsel? Is it right here? Is it up there? I need to trigger that arrow trap before I get killed, because I know I'm going to forget. Oh, it was already triggered. Cool. Well, this is the Ujidai, so we have to go here anyway. This is a nightmare, dude. I guess the cat was lower. There's our ghost pot. There's the Ujidai. Idiot. What? the skull break on the corner of the other tile? Why? Why would it do that? Uh, uh, <laughs> why can't I get a run started? No! Why would it break on the freaking corner? Derek! Derek! Derek, why? You traitor to the cause. I mean, freaking. My head is touching them. Oh my God. Okay. wireless streams, but rich nonetheless. I just want the torch in case there's a turkey, okay? It's very reasonable. Like, look at how it moves. It's... It kind of lags. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> Just a single blink. Okay. Any cool things you missed? I mean, no, I'm being terrible at the game, mostly. I keep dying to random insignificant stuff. Uh, it's cool. I don't want to parachute. Parachute crates might be one of the most unsatisfying things in Spelunky. 
I just can't think of many occasions where I see a parachute crate and think, oh, thank God. I was so worried. You are mine. Thank you. All right, bye. I believe glasses give you better vision in dark areas. Okay, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna regret it, but we're gonna try it. Maybe we'll help Yang? Nerfed climbing gloves? You're kidding me. What? Why would you nerf climbing gloves? They're already terrible. You used to be able to grab that ledge in that scenario. Alright, well, let's attempt the freaking turkey thing, I guess. I mean, either we attempt the turkey thing or we kill them. And it's either are good, really. We need a rope here. I'm willing to use one rope for it. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. I do. Really couldn't get this one yourself, huh? Too difficult? I guess it also led to a secret shop. What do you know? <sighs> yeah, I don't know about any of these, I'm gonna be honest. I'll just get spike shoes and the rope pile and call it a day. I don't know about any of these, he says, buying two thirds of these. Wait! I'm gonna get in trouble. I just need to know. Yeah. I had to know, I had to know, and now I know. Do you see the indicator in the top right? We got an indicator set up for angry shopkeepers now, which is awesome. So I think you have to toggle it on, so. Yeah, I don't think shopkeepers can travel through the um, level transition. Is that a freaking bomb box in the crust? Right when I ruined my run? You have a sick sense of humor, Spelunky. And I love it, frankly. Oh. Ooh, that's effective. Owned him. Doesn't really matter, we're still just gonna die, but like, at least I owned him. 
Do you think there's two shopkeepers down here? Because there's two exits? Okay, so thing about climbing gloves. You have to keep it held. I didn't realize that. That's gonna hurt my fingers until I get, or my thumbs until I get on keyboard again. That's glasses on dark level. Uh, so here we can see up to just uh, the divot in that bedrock. Yeah, okay, so it gives you back torch visibility. What shopkeeper? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> oh, there's a Yang shop. Oh! So there's a beehive here too? Now I'm confused, but I'm excited too. Oh God, I almost died. This is a great time to have a shotgun after all. Okay, awesome. Wait, no queen bee? No, 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 no way. There's Olmec. Most thought to be the cause of a curse that trapped explorers in a cave, but maybe he was just a small part of it? Dude, they nerfed Olmec in the lore. There's Tiamat, queen of the world. Though myth and legend have separated her from her descendants, some still hear her call. L Lamas, a mighty demigod created by the Olmites to help them guard Neo Babylon. There is a queen bee! Come on! Where is it? Oh! Oh my God! Oh, you can get there, okay. Just like old times, huh? Queen Bee, the matriarch of the hive. On her abdomen, one might find a blob of delicious royal jelly. Excellent. There's pace down here too. Ooh, but it's not gonna be that easy. Oh, maybe it will be. Wait, no. You know what, just do that. Make things simpler for both of us. So there's no black market. Well, that's fun. All right, so we're up to 14 health now after that. I, God knows why. But uh, we still have angry shopkeepers, so this is still all just like a nice gesture more than anything else. This this whole run is a meme. We're going to the black market with shopkeepers aggroed and I can barely even play the game. Like.
The challenge of the moon. No thanks, I'm good. You know what, we'll just bomb through here. Ah, she'll get mad. Just kidding, haha. Uh -huh. I need to get used to new climbing gloves. They are quirky and weird. Oh! Spike shoes let you stand on this. That's awesome to know. I assume head bonks are still pain, but you know, spike shoes let you stand on it at least. So I can just go here. Wait. That's not the exit. Okay. I was like, what? We got a Diagro already? I wonder if Diagro is still a mechanic and if it is as quirky as it used to be. It's interesting that the shopkeeper music doesn't... Oh, God. I forgot. All right. You win this round, jerk. You want to play this game? I'll play this game. There we go. No more Diagro. You've sealed your accompaniment's fate. Let us not soon forget that you are the one who chose their demise. Kitty! Oh, I don't have a torch. Never mind. Just kidding. Ha ha. No, Kitty! What is that thing? What was that thing? That's a girl? They're very rare. Um, you can find them trapped sometimes. should be pretty easy to kill. As long as he moves off to the right, we just drop down and shoot him. Do they moving in a consistent pattern now? Because it looked like it. Oh, it's gotta be. Now remember, remember your brother did this to you and <laughs> to the rest of them in just a moment. <laughs> Welcome to the black, ah, 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 ah. Staying alive? Does he avoid shooting Yang? I guess I should grab the power pack. Hi there. Frankly, put a bomb here. I forgot that happens. I'm sorry, kitty. Yo. Did I do it? Oh my God, okay. Don't mind me. I'll just rob my first attempt at a black market. <laughs> not bad. Now, the hardest part of the game, remembering that this is not actually the jetpack and I cannot fly. There's a shopkeeper and a cobweb up there. And there's a dude that's gonna curse me. Hear me out. Situation sorted. 
Uh, so I have what's called the power pack, and it makes weapons more powerful, and it also makes bombs scary. Okay. So I have changed what I'm doing on this run, for the record. I didn't explicitly mention it, but we're not testing the hedget on the sword and the stone anymore. I have changed my mind. Whoa, no, no, whoa, hold on. Are they setting up outposts for me? I am simply honored by this gesture. They clearly care. But they're foolish if they think I'm going to play by their rules. <laughs> what made you so sure? WHAT MADE YOU SO SURE?! <laughs> oh god! No, 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 no. For goodness sake. God, I had climbing gloves. They're still bad after all this time. It's confirmed. It's gonna make my life easier. Go. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The parachute worked. All you parachute fanatics can can cry and cheer. Yeah, I beat Olmec, and we're gonna beat him again. going, Olmec. I have 46 bombs. I could be doing most of this myself, but this is more fun. Let's put a rope there to denote that that's a safe spot, at least for now. I didn't say the new objective, I don't think. What's the point of killing Olmec? You'll see. Hopefully. Alright, so this is where we're gonna drop. a little bit scary how strong these bombs are. Yeah, yeah. Okay, actually, these UFOs do matter. There's a few other things that I want to check. I, I see a few other things. It's like one other thing. Huh? Thank you. So this is Waddler confirmed. I can see the outline. Bandle? Oh, it blew up his. Really? Whatever. It blew up his shop from the other side, but that's Waddler. And I guess he always spawns there. Which would have been good to know if my bombs were not so big that they destroyed his shop. Oh god. Oh god. I didn't realize throwing a bomb would disable my parachute. 
Good to know. Okay. But I want to know. Okay, it doesn't upgrade the scepter. I guess. Okay. Is this the exit? That'd be nice. It's not. Dude, I love the fire whip. doing pal do you feel like you succeeded just now I think you got a two out of ten it might shoot faster maybe yeah well you could use multiple at once with the normal scepter I just don't because that's a really bad idea power pack is good I just need to get used to the fact that it's not a jet pack like I my brain sees the thing on my back and says, okay, you have a jetpack, you can do jetpack things. So this is a character coffin. They're guarding the city of gold! They're guarding the city of freaking gold! <laughs> You're kidding me! Wow. That might just be a coincidence, but boy, is that funny. All right. So. My thought is that in Spelunky HD, to do a hell run, you need a hedge it, you need the Ankh, and you need to go to the City of Gold. We have the hedge it, we have the Ankh, and we're going to the City of Gold. I'm not sure if the Necronomicon only spawns if you have the Ankh, or if it spawns in a place that requires you to die with the Ankh, but we're gonna check for both. You feel a burst of excitement inside you. Let's uh let's kill the heck out of this leprechaun. Get that clover, thank you. I do feel protected. You can shoot these to get them faster. <laughs> oh god. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Please don't kill me. I mean, I need to die at some point probably, but let's let's not get hasty. Oh! I mean, there's there's no other way. There's literally no other way. A desert of ash and fire burning beneath an eternal blood moon. The domain of the god Osiris. 
This is where the snake is! Oh god! <laughs> turkey that's aggressive looking lava that's an aggressive looking crocodile you're gonna die ah! Ah! I didn't think he'd come back again so soon. <laughs> ah, Pep. Defeated, not applicable? <laughs> we'll see about that. A great snake god who slithers tirelessly throughout Duat with scales of flint and a stomach full of hot ash. Amit, a terrifying underworld demon who eats the hearts of unclean souls causing them to die a second death. Wow. I mean, there's no way no one's found this yet. This is the most obvious one. Oh my God. Let's do it again! Woo! I guess we should honestly start robbing shopkeeps because I don't know. I didn't even have a jetpack and I made that work. I thought that if we died on that altar, it would spawn the Necronomicon. That was my expectation. Um, not quite. I wasn't very far off, but not quite. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if you got the um, crown and did that. Like, would it? Man, this game. Hi, Jake. Oh, jeez. You know what the craziest part about that was, though? That was four dash four. Beat the game today? I still haven't beat the game. <laughs> I may have discovered the mothership, but I haven't beaten the game. Yeah, no, that wasn't 5 dash something. That was 4 dash 4. So, theoretically, that wouldn't have even been the end of the run. But that's just a theory. A game! Th Sorry. Sorry. Is that the Ujidai? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Haven't been to the jungle or the volcano? Gotcha. Yeah, I saw your shopkeep robbery thing. I'm probably gonna try it. I haven't been focusing on beating the game at all. It's like one of my last priorities. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to find stuff, and I just got to a new area. I don't think that's like... I'm assuming many people have done that by now, because that seems so obvious. The mothership, no way, no how. That one is all mine, but... Duat is a... Duat is basically, okay, you Spelunky HD player, here's your little secret, go ahead. If 
by Splunky to have played HD. That's, I mean, played it, sure. Done the hell route? Probably not. Okay, I'm here now. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we had triggered the arrow trap and I got forcefully pushed into it. Oops. <laughs> Ugh. About what looks like the hell path, gotcha. There was literally nothing. I mean, people in the Discord. I'm gonna, look here, check this out. Spelunky Discord, search. The word duot. Oh, six results. No one's talking about Duot, but they found it. <laughs> At least on the 29th, it releases on the 15th for PS4 and the 29th for PC. So yes and no. You killed me last run. You monster, you were supposed to fall on the spikes. Let me help you with that. <laughs> Having fun there, Mole? Thinking about what you did? That's really funny. I love how they made cobwebs like a true trap for enemies in this game. Like they're not just like a mild inconvenience. If a, an enemy gets cobweb, they're just done for the day. Like they're tuckered out. People have review copies for a while. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gotten the mothership. I think I legitimately was the first person to find the mothership. But stuff like Duot is super obvious, right? Duot is literally do the Spelunky HD path and then look at this statue. Have you noticed this enormous Ankh on it? What a quirky statue with an Ankh on it. That's funny that it has an Ankh on it. I wonder if you could, that's, it has, the stat, there's an Ankh on the statue and there's an altar. <clears throat> like it's, people have gotten Duot plenty. One one crate pack, I'm jealous. It's supposed to just be found by chance. I don't think that's true. I think it, it I think it could have been found by chance. I don't think it was supposed to be. I think there's some way to get the mothership that we don't know about, and I forced it because I suck. I'm the worst. Die. Duot is an area that we just reached. Um, you know what? One, two, three, four to the right. One, two, three, four up. No, that's not the button to press. <laughs> One, two, three, four to the right. One, two, three, four up. Okay. Oh, it's right here. I can literally see it. It was five up, but close enough. Why? What, why would you... I put effort into that. Don't give me a parachute. God, what's wrong with you? Boy, that shopkeep robbery is pretty cool. I bet a cool guy found it. Any evidence that the worm is in this game? Not yet, no idea. I would assume it is if they put the mothership in. I don't know where it is though. 
Yeah, shopkeeps after that revelation, my mind is just in pieces. I'm so used to just blindly hating shopkeeps like they blindly hate me, but now that we know that they're clones? Ooh, ooh. How'd that shopkeeper robbery work? Walk up to him, throw a rope, and then throw him at the door. Grab his shotgun. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> that little command sequence. How many more areas are there that you haven't seen? So... We've got Dwelling, Jungle, Volcana, Olmec's Lair, and then Tide Pool. So there's a secret area off of Tide Pool somewhere. Um, there's Temple of a New City of Gold, and then that leads to Duat. Uh, there's the Ice Caves, Neo Babylon, Tiamat's Throne, and then there's one, two, three, four other areas on top of that. And this is disregarding sub areas because the mothership is a sub area and it won't show up in the journal, but oh my God, what a big deal it is. I don't want to just like shove that under the rug, right? Mothership's huge deal, but sub areas are not counted towards the journal, so. Shot the ghost pot. That sucks. We can't get any additional sacrifice stuff. And hopefully. No, we got the huge knife. We're fine. Kapala is not way harder to get now. It's way easier, in my opinion. If you get the same. If you get turkey level with an altar, that's like a free Kapala, basically. Because you're guaranteed 12 favor. So you just need to get four otherwise. Yeah, there are dung beetles all around. Seven hours yesterday before the embargo was lifted? What do you mean? <laughs> there are thousands upon thousands of people watching Spelunky 2 since two days ago. This is also the first I've even heard of it, so. Even if there was trouble to be had, I don't think it would fall upon me, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, the region lock thing? No. That's not worth it. Like, it's not worth Sony's time to track down everybody who does region lock nonsense. Like, people are going to region lock mess with that. Like, thousands of people are going to do that. The amount of time it would take Sony to try and track that stuff down is not worth the time investment. Is that? Okay, it's not accessible. Where are we placed on Grim? <laughs> okay. No, I'm trying to get back to Duat. 
right now. Which, I mean, maybe we could beat a run through Duot, I don't know. But my, my objective is not to beat the game, it's just to find stuff out. Yesterday I spent like two hours moving a push block to find the mothership. That's that's the kind of stuff we're doing right now. Dang it. Double ding it. Okay, not my best work. All things considered. Yeah, if I stream the content ahead of the game's initial release, that's a pretty big deal, but region lock stuff just doesn't matter enough. Yeah, you lose a lot of stuff going into Duat, but I kind of like that because I'm a low percent runner, so. Two and a half hours. It, so the timestamp for me announcing that I had the idea was six hours and six minutes in. I think, around that range. That was when I first said, there's a push block on this level and there's a hole in the wall. Um, so I'm not sure when the first door entrance happened. There were a couple, but. These guys are not doing, what? Wow. All right, shop keeps her. Shopkeeps are still dumb. I, I, you know, I'm just gonna say it. They're still dumb. They are not smart yet. There's an altar. We should be able to get Kapala. Just need the damsel. I don't know where the damsel is, is the problem. Bomb cascading. Oh, wow. I guess it really is patched. Be right down here, like on this. Nope, right here. Almost got it by accident. If the cascade happened, it would have worked. Okay, so I'm still pretty sure we can get Kapala, but we have to do it. I thought they were in a cobweb. Was I wrong? They might have just not been in a cobweb. All right. Ugh. was at 757 yeah so it took about two hours do i have 50 percent of the journal oh look exactly <laughs> i didn't even see that icon until just now well let's keep doing shopkeep robbery stuff might as well get practice with this i feel like a lot of my issue right now is that i'm spending so much time aggressively going for gold that a lot of hassle. So let's see what the shopkeep robbery life is like. You're too kind. I'm out of ropes, so that's pretty cool. And will probably not cause any problems. I wonder how shopkeeps are considered favor-wise. Probably still three and six if I had to guess. I don't see why they changed that. Nice. 
I should not be doing that. That's a foolish mistake to make. I need to make sure that Ujidai isn't up before I do stuff like that. Because if it's up and I throw the key down, I'm doomed. It's right here. Oh. Okay. Um... So bad with the spring shoe whipping situation. All right. Yeah, skeleton key lets you open any doors that are locked off. Yeah, you can shotgun jump. Which I guess means I, it's not too big of a deal about the rope situation, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. So it does, no, killing them doesn't give you health. It's specifically causing fire damage to them. sound cue for the shopkeeper aggro rather than a full-on you know music piece did i get him okay we grab damsel come here kitty those turkey carcasses for supper. Yes. Thanksgiving. Ugh. I assume the power pack whip would cook turkeys. Yeah, it, it appears to be fire-based damage, which is an interesting thing to keep in mind. I keep doing that. I keep hovering and then I land on this ledge and it cancels my hover, but I'm never ready for it. You know, I did the same thing last time where I like shot him and then I realized I need to go this way and I, I need to stop doing that because it's wasting my bombs. And I need those for the black market. Oh God. Almost. Almost got him. I also think jungle is harder. People have been saying that Volcano is harder, but I think jungle is harder. I keep forgetting that that's a thing. I don't like that. Like if you, if you do any action, your hover gets canceled. Shoot, throwing a bomb, um, shooting. That might be the only two things, but those are things you do all the time in Splunky HD. That's, I mean, that's gonna take me a while. I'm just gonna say it right here and now. It's gonna take me a while to get used to that, cause like, using the cape and shooting the shotgun was a thing you would do all the time in the first game. Like that one's ingrained deep. So I'm gonna have to take some time before I can get used to that. It's a pretty heavy cape nerf, like, a pretty enormous cape nerf, in fact. I'm assuming the hover pack is immune because it handles differently. It's a toggle rather than a hold, but... Uh, 
grab it, maybe? Just an idea. I mean, if Fujitai's over there, we can get back. It's not a big deal. Thank you, chat. What is a big deal is if it costs a million bombs to do anything. Gosh. Okay, so we can do... Uh, I think that? Mm, maybe not. How about that? Nope. Uh, how about that? Barely not. How about, uh, maybe if I do it later? No. Oh! Too good. Too strong. So instead of having to use two bombs, oh, it would have been one bomb down there anyway. It, it was better to go that way. I I feel bad. I'm uh, I'm upset. I'm gonna cry. Cape. Oh my god. But I got the skeleton key. I have to use throw up anyway because I freaking just kill me. Just, you know, end my life. Anything I do that's epic is tainted by my stupidity. Your voice echoes in here. I, I've seen this plenty. I'm still not sure what it means. Oh, it totally is a wide thing, isn't it? Because this is one two, three, four, five segments long at least. Six. Six segments wide. Wow. That's, I mean, come on. That's wild. Paste is a seriously good find. Six tall as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's really good. All right, this run is becoming very, very interesting. Very, very fast. Uh, you know what? You stay there. Shotgun goes there. Paula goes here. I keep forgetting there's a slight delay on grabbing items now. There we go. I got there. Took me some time, but I got there. Turkey, help me out. Wait, what? Four health turkey? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, I didn't fall correctly. Oh, he lost a shotgun. Uh, I almost lost my head. out of there. Can't get into the turkey door with the skeleton key? I forgot. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Are we talking about what finger we use for shift? Because it's pinky for me. I think. Right? Yeah, pinkies always. Weird that he explodes. Oh, we can do um that. Make my life a little bit easier. there. Right, the shopkeeper. Okay, we're fine. Whoa! Oh, he unlocked a character. A little bit greedy, I'll admit to it. No, blood! Cool. Alright. On to the jungle. We only have one bomb. Uh, but we'll see. An incessant buzzing. Well, I guess we'll get some more health at the very least. Didn't take damage, good. There's a leprechaun. Oh, there's the bombs I need. <laughs> we meet again! Queen of bees. Oh, I love the sound effects here. Like genuinely, I love the bees sound design. Like the, the slightly more bassy vibrations of the queen bee versus the normal bees. Ooh, very good, very good. Twenty one HP by the way. Granted, we won't have any of that in Duat, but we have it now. Okay, we need to wait for him to go oh. Alright, well he's dumb, so it worked out. They do not handle these little itty bitty spikes well. They don't handle it well, well at all. Like I almost feel bad. Like I kind of want to just be like, guys, you can't step on those. They hurt you. But at the same time, they've been playing this game for longer than I have. So no excuse really. All right, blood. Okay. We're out of there. Yeah, I think Royal Jelly is six now. No, I have no idea about the hidden level in the 
water area. I assume it has to do with the sword, but I don't know what to do with it. So, we'll, fi we'll figure it out. It might just be that you need the crown for whatever, I whatever I'm thinking of. Because if it's Hedget and Ankh for the City of Gold thing, it might be crown and sword, which someone mentioned made more sense. Um, and I do agree that it makes more sense. I was just like, I don't know. Huh? See you later, gems. Okay, well, uh, damage boosted, damage boosted, damage boosted. Bear trap, bear trap. Well, that was sudden. I mean, they'll all die here anyway. I don't really have to do anything. Any others? I love the little outpost, that's cute. That's a nice touch. No black market? I believe Bear Trap's instant kill. What does she give you, the girl I just found? She'll give you something at Olmec. Depending upon how many of the sisters you save, they give you different stuff. Ha! I shot the idol. Wait, do you see the compass? This is 2-3, why? Oh, because there's an exit beyond the black market. So compass just tells you what level the black market's on, huh? That's kind of spicy. I just have to, I hate that guy so much. Speaking of the black market, I have not been able to find it so far. And this level is kind of scary to navigate, so. Oh, never mind. There's two rubies there. I'm gonna assume that's just a coincidence, but I might wanna keep that in mind. Yeah, Spike Shoes let you walk on the little thorns, it's nice. All right, this is a focus moment, so. Here we go! Yeah, climb the ladder, I dare ya. That's right, you're too scared. I should've grabbed that. But I have to remember, I cannot, oh. Okay, don't shoot bomb bags, understood. I have to remember that, um, oh, jetpack. I have to remember that I can't shoot while hovering. That's not a thing I can do anymore. There's a shopkeeper there. Do you see him? He's just hanging out. Oh God. Bye. All right, well, here's the ultimate test. Jetpack climbing gloves. We've got both of them. Let's make this easier for both of us. The ghost. It's fine. The fr no, climbing goes are still terrible with jetpack. Don't care, don't care. Almost died to it, almost died to it. Almost died to it. Yeah, I'm the same tactique. There are not multiple. Do you wanna know why? Do you wanna know why I almost died to it? Okay, here's why. 
I kept pressing down and then I was intending to press the jump key because that's how you drop with gloves before, but that triggered the jetpack because I had already dropped. And then I hit the left key because I meant to move left, but then I grabbed the wall again and I did that like three times. <sighs> All right, there's a bomb box here. So we're just gonna stick this guy instead of shooting him. That way we can get the bombs without them blowing up. Oh, he was sleeping, not dead. They are similar, but not the same. Alright, got him. Alright, got him. <laughs> I am having fun with the new shopkeepers, I'm not gonna lie. There's this chaotic energy to the new shopkeep fight. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're off. shopkeepers in this game are not harder. <laughs> in fact, it's kind of funny. The fact that they're slightly more logical makes it easier for me to understand where they intend to go, right? With old shopkeepers, the fact that they were so stupid and just went any which way kind of played in their favor because it was like, I, this guy might just take a B turn right here, right now for no reason. Um, but the shopkeepers don't do that, so take the crates above. I will later. Not right now, though. Could you stop doing this? It makes me unhappy. I just don't want those bombs to explode so close to me. Okay, after this bomb drop, we'll get ready to drop them. Right here works. Oh, well, let's do that. Stay away from him, and then we want to make this into a ballot hole. So, put a bomb there. Put a bomb here. Put a bomb here and here. And then we just bring him over. Suddenly scared of bomb bags. <laughs> A weird feeling. And we're going to the temple, so. So here's a question. You have to land to refill the jetpack, like on solid terrain. Ledge grabs don't do it anymore. There's a crate though. Yeah, it's always it always has a parachute there, which is not super important for me at this point. Okay. <laughs> old friend, it's been too long. You didn't come visit at the Olmec fight. Were you busy with the family? Oh, that's right. You're a clone. Did you drop down? Thank you. 
Excellent. This is Anubis. I'm gonna put a bomb here so we can get the drop on him. Didn't really work, but it's whatever. <laughs> Good enough. Got the shopkeeper. Let's just go. Ugh. Hey, they don't always guard it. That's nice. And I guess having a shotgun is pretty irrelevant since we're just gonna do the thing. You feel a burst of excitement inside of you. Never take the climbing gloves. Never take the climbing gloves. It's never worth it. It's literally never worth it. They can't fix them. They can't fix the climbing gloves. They're an objectively terrible item. There is never a good case for climbing gloves. Don't care. Don't care what anyone tells you. Worst item in the game. Buy a landslide. Never have climbing gloves. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Why Why suffer for a, such a minimal benefit? <laughs> Might as well. We have like no health. It's so small! Oh god! It's a little mean that you can spawn in a piece of honey. <sighs> Don't take climbing gloves. Don't take climbing gloves. Don't take climbing gloves. Never take climbing gloves. It's a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Climbs are... Gloves are bad. Gloves are bad. Gloves, gloves are bad. They're the worst. Worst. Worst in the game. Worst in the game. Terrible. Awful. Never do it. Not worth it. side triggered the arrow trap right now I just need the damsel man Kapala is so much nicer than it used to be where is she there you are Probably get invigorated on this level, Jesus. There's so much stuff. Okay, one dash two Kapala. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, right? All right, that works. Then we can do that. Just trying to figure out a more consistent strat for that thing later. What are we dealing with at the shop? Uh, I guess we'll rob that. I don't feel super strongly about it. Okay. 
Oh, really? Uh, we need to use another bomb here. This level is so resource hungry, Jesus. Well, I guess it's mostly because I wanted the Kapala, but still. Kapala is so resource hungry, Jesus. It might be worth to grab the shop just for the ropes at this point. If there are ropes, I might've made that up. There's a pile of ropes. I did not make it up. Oh, there's a ghost. Bye. 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 <laughs> Gloves do again. Uh, it makes you throw in straight lines. I'm gonna be streaming for super long. I'm gonna be streaming for like at least 10 hours, probably. Knowing how I've done the first few. The first stream was about 10 hours, the second stream was 12. So these streams are going to be long. Oh, I guess they do have four health. Interesting. stump thing. Ooh, hover pack is nice. Okay, you know what? It's fine, okay. See the shopkeeper at the exit. Are you kidding me? Don't even think about it. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Rustling, I'm not going over there. Is it okay during game day? Uh, no. That's okay, though. And yeah, I'm gonna get food at some point during the middle of the stream, most likely, so. That's what happened. See if I can be more careful about the bombs. Oh, is that connected? No. I feel like that's all that like little area is always the same though. Like it's always in the same spot, it always has a caveman in it. There's something consistent there. I mean, we have 14 bombs. We could try and check it out. You know what? You suck. Okay? I'm saying it. Okay. 
shoot some butterflies with a shotgun. Normal behavior, normal behavior. Don't judge me, don't judge me. Stop, stop, stop judging me. Okay. What kind of run are you doing currently? So we found a new area through the City of Gold. We're trying to get back there because I died. And I just got to the City of Gold again, and then I got killed by climbing gloves, which we have officially confirmed are still the worst item in the game. I'll never pick them up again. Never again. That's not even a joke. You're not gonna see me having climbing gloves if I can avoid it. That blood. I almost dropped on the man eater there. I'm willing to admit to the false that I have. Maneater is to your left and the mosquito is to your right. You have to hit the left button on the D-pad before shooting the shotgun or you will die and lose the run. Sorry, what's a D-pad? I'm gonna hit the shoot button. <laughs> Why'd I die? What happened? The shopkeepers are still jank too. Oh, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm I'm kind of glad the new shopkeepers aren't just these crazy giga machines. I can't get you can't get Kapal on floor one, but you can get it on floor two. Yeah, gold monkey exists. It's super cute too. Okay. That's just the starting area. I missed my Kapala already. I was having fun with it. I keep thinking it's a jetpack. It's not a jetpack. I think I hit him with the key. Oops, my bad. Sorry, shopkeeper. Oh, got him. Dude, can you just get hit? Thank you. Uh, no thanks. Oh, this wasn't the Ujidai. This was the Ujidai. It worked out. You can play whichever Splunky you want. I mean... Be advised, this one's not out on Steam, so if you really want to play on Steam, you're not going to want to play this one, but they are both excellent games, and I mean, it just boils down to, do you want to play the one that everyone's playing, or do you want to play the one that everyone played? I think that why did why did my brain decide that that was the acceptable play
Oops. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay. Ugh. Was this be a jetpack? It wasn't even me thinking it was a jetpack. I just thought I could land that. There were climbing gloves in the mystery box. I'm resetting. I'm not doing it. I won't do it. They had one chance. I gave them one. What did they do? They ruined a run to the city of gold. Okay. But how did you get to play better? Shut up. Shut up. It's over. It's over, climbing gloves. Years of chaos and suffering. I give you one chance and you throw it away. Ooh. I have to be careful because I don't want to shoot the jetpack. I think it breaks. I will, however, shoot whatever that was, I guess. Now it feels like Spelunky HD. Are we sure we're playing Spelunky 2? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, it's been so long. the damsel and then we will be on our way out This game can be fast paced if you want it to be, but it's just fast paced because I'm playing it and I'm impatient, like nobody's business. That bomb could get us one health, but it's a gamble on whether or not it actually pays out. Score record? No. The reason more people don't play this game is because it's been out for two days on one console. So, <laughs> people will play this game. Give them time. All right. Been a little bit better that time. Okay, so, like, we did all that damage. I guess we could just throw the ghost pot at him, and then the skull? Or, is there like a rock? No, we'll just do ghost pot. <laughs> Don't break my shotgun, you broke my shotgun. No, you didn't, just kidding, haha. -ha. I missed. Screw it, I don't care. Come over here. In fact, Let's really baby-proof this. We have a jetpack, we might as well. Get some easy access to here, I can do this. And then this. Shoot the spider, hit the shopkeeper, leave. Welcome back, Deadly. Ghost looks the same, kinda. 
let's just say it's a little bit different. You might not know it yet, but it's a little bit different. Look at this guy, guarding pets, very cute. I want that damsel. Perfect. Oh, he should just die there, right? Oh, I mean, in a sense. I'm sad I missed out on the bomb bag there, but it's fine. We'll get bombs from the black market. Hello, puppy. Hello, kitty. Do the thorn tiles hurt you? Uh, yes. Unless you have spike shoes. Then you can walk on them. They also hurt the shopkeepers. Oh, idiot. Is there a black market? No, we're out of here. Bye-bye. That puppy's a mount. He shoots fire. Oh, uh, that helps for bombs too, honestly. It's very helpful for bombs, in fact. worth it. We'll get like a crate maybe, but <laughs> Kitty, however, very worth it. Very, very worth it, Kitty. Yeah, it's just chests. And we are not invested in money. Uh, that was a dumb way to take damage, but hey, we'll get the health back. We don't have the answer to that, Amphi. We don't know if it's random or sequenced in a certain way, but someone will eventually find out, I'm sure. Oh. Oh, it's right here, I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot, it's really hard to see, but I, I need to start trying to identify it myself. Okay, let's just go. This is what we need, not the rest of the level. All right, here we go. One more. Yeah, good thing I didn't shoot that. I've done it twice, I can do it a third time. Especially with this spawn, this is a much nicer spawn. Hey! Absolutely not. another jetpack. Drain mech! Drain mech! However, there was no drain mech to be had. There's no climbing gloves. I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, you can come down. Spike shoes, specs, spring shoes, spike shoes. Um, 
Okay. Down, 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 down. Uh, let's deal with the shopkeeper and then get the kitty. Because there's still another shopkeeper over here. Oh, he's dead. Awesome. Did it not get aggro? Go. Cannot run a bullet, mosquito. Uh, no, I haven't tried killing the ghost. That'll be very interesting, though, because if you can kill the ghost in this game, you might be able to get an item. Well, okay, let's let's check one thing. All right, bold claims, Derek. Bold claims. Let's let's see if it's true. It's not defeated Hexic Fog, it's defeated not applicable, so you can't kill it, theoretically. If it was killable, it'd be listed as zero. Well, quote unquote killable. Um, but yeah, NA isn't zero. NA is supposed to suggest that you can't do it. Uh, how'd you, I, yeah, I guess we're out of here. Do other entries have zero? Yes. Killed by zero. By zero. Is there any killed zeros in here? Yeah, defeated zero. So, there is a difference. Nice job. Good work. Careful of the spikes there. They're a little hard to see, but now that you know, you shouldn't get hit by them again, right? All right, I mean, two times you should learn. And who is this guy, me? Hey there, how you doing? Good? Yeah, me too. Um, we don't have paste, do we? Do we have paste? If we have paste, this will be a lot easier. We have paste. Also, climbing gloves really make the Olmec fight way more annoying. So, yet another reason to never take. doing regular runs. I found an area earlier and I'm trying to go back to it. I mean, that's how you beat Olmec before, Nebula. But that's his first phase. First phase is a bait. No, we did not, but we're close, Deadly. So we want to drop him towards the right side so that I can um, free up the left side. No, I didn't get anywhere with the um, upper area of the boss. It seems like it'll probably require like a hover pack and climbing gloves. Or a jet pack and No, because the jet pack wouldn't recharge. So I guess it's just the hover pack plus climbing gloves. Yeah, climbing gloves would be the best play. Because it'd let you climb the walls. Perfect, maybe? Not quite.
That's perfect. Did he die? No, no, no. Uh, right here is fine. Oh, can you not get up? Here. Perfect. Where'd you get the robot guy? This one? I don't remember. The spinning spheres aren't that bad. You can find safe spots pretty easily. Uh, that's a dumb way to take damage. I mean, we're gonna lose all of our health relatively soon anyway, but... Still generally a good idea to not take damage. Lazy. I appreciate the little critters. Makes it a little bit easier to tell at a glance which uh, exit you're at. See ya, have a nice day. Hi, shopkeepers. There they go. Oh, God. Nice parachute, thanks. Not what I was intending, but it works, I guess. Ooh, that would be nice to get. Yeah, City of Gold door is always on the same level. Here it be. Bye. Bye. Is that weird floaty lady a problem mostly? Ugh. Deadly, what the heck? I just gotta start setting alarms. We're back. All right, here it is. That might blow up all the tiles. Okay, it didn't, thank goodness. You guys ready? Cause I'm scared. I just wish I could keep a jetpack. Bye. This area, this like screen lags so much. Next time I see the big snake, I have to treat it as if it's about to come every single time. Is there any like visual cue? I'm so scared of the snake, man. Okay. Okay. I jumped because I thought it was gonna be on the ground. Oh God, that's so rough. I didn't see any visual cue. Okay, but, but, it triggers before you reach it. Before you reach it, which is important. My assumption there was that it triggered at your level. It does not do that. Did you see that? Weird. So when you hear the sound effect, it's gonna be above you. All right, back 
to do what we go. Lava pit sure is a freaking problem. Oh, there's a bunch of bones. Maybe that's the hint? I mean, I, I have a, a sneaking suspicion that it's gonna vary depending upon where you are, but I think most important to take away right now, dude, nice. I think the most important takeaway right now is that it's above you. Does the bomb box not break? Like, is it supposed to be shielded by the box? If so, great. All right, a little bit silly on my part. Okay, next time I go, that info is gonna save me so much trouble. I, I think we can make it through Duop with that information by itself. Oh god dang it, why am I like this? If I can get through the dwelling at least, <laughs> it's a tough area. It's got snakes and spiders. You know what, you suck, okay? Quit showing me that gold bar, I didn't ask. Ugh. You know what, I have 16 bombs. Sorry, turkey. Oh God, another one. Ooh, but an altar. alive. Okay, so we're at what? Five favor? There's the shopkeeper. There's the kitty. I might use some bombs here. Skeleton. All right, so this cat and the shopkeeper will be enough for Kapala. Nice. I'll always be happy to have a bone key. Skeleton key, skull key, it's all of them really. I forgot that he was ground level. Oh God, I didn't realize he had a friend. Although I must admit, not for long. Get, get out of here. Uh, compass is useful, I'll take it. All right, we can get Kapala, so we don't have to worry too much about our health, but it is something to consider.
yes, I'm gonna sacrifice everything. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. I would've taken damage there. I don't wanna talk about it. Uh, Ghost is here, get the compass, get the compass, thank you. Cool! Oh, goodness gracious. I believe Vlad's castle is the alternative to the black market, yeah? It just makes the most sense to me. All right, note to self, you can't do anything while shooting anymore. Buddy, you know what time it is. Is he gonna keep doing it? Or does he chill out? Oh wow, interesting. He straight up just aggro's then. Weird. Skim the top of his head. Okay. Note to self, try and skim the top of his head. Danger. Alert. Danger. Alert. Where that you don't need the eye for. You can manic bomb instead of the drill, and if you know how, you can find the black market without the eye. I mean, the Ujidai wasn't necessary in the first game, so. Might just be following that trend. The simplest answer is often the correct one. Get much blood? Uh, they can. I just hate them. Invigoration? Uh, don't mind if I do. Hi. I stole his gem. <laughs> If we're gonna get invigorated, the whole health thing doesn't matter too much. Paste is excellent. Really good, really good. Oh, wow! I don't know how he got there. Oh, there was a vine by the idol. All right, they can get me sometimes. I guess the element for these shopkeepers is the element of surprise rather than the element of randomness. It's like we don't get a jetpack, but not the end of the world. You know, that was really surprising. I hadn't even realized the shopkeep out was, outpost was there yet. I was too busy with the altar stuff. Dude! Perfect straight down level? Low percent speedrun? Ooh. I mean, we're not gonna do it, but it's tempting. Uh, I couldn't find the freaking shotgun. Okay, bye. No, no, bye, see ya. 
right, let's get the Kapala. This is the turkey level, so it should be easier. Oh, we have spike shoes. I forgot. We could just kill Yang. Get his turkey. Sacrifice Yang? I mean, we're gonna. You monster! What do you mean? I want your treasure. What's so monstrous about wanting treasure? Sounds like you're the monster trying to keep all the treasure yourself. I'm gonna be honest. Would you like to be sacrificed to the gods? Yes, you would. Have we still not gotten an item? Two damage, or no, three damage to me. Sorry. Just kidding. All right. Where's the kitty? Enjoy your food voidism. I'm probably gonna order food relatively soon. I won't have to like stop or anything, but I might need to take like a 10 minute break when the food eventually arrives, so. And then that. Oh, come on. All right, back up to four. Thank goodness. Golden monkey exists and it's adorable. It's super cute. I love it. I love the new gold monkey. Um, here. Look at it. Look at his, look at his little face. Look at his little dang face. Yeah, Steam's gonna be on the 29th. Oh my God. Why would, okay, go ahead. Why would you sacrifice an idol to get an item that you just re-sacrifice? <laughs> what would the purpose be? And no, you can't, I, uh, Gold Monkey can't be stunned. Okay, you're gonna, you sacrifice this idol, and then, and then, you sacrifice it again, and then, you sacrifice that one too, and then you keep sacrificing it for the infinite monkey! What happened? Why is the ghost here? It's someone broke the ghost pot. Okay, I'm gonna die. After the 15th sacrifice, you get a kiss on the cheek from Kali herself. You know what, you come up here. Nice power pack, by the way. God, I should have moved first. Pfft. 
How much health does that give? Uh, does what give? Oh, getting a kiss on the cheek? Uh, it kills you instantly for being a bad person. right there. This is gonna be huff, tough, rather. So I haven't done uh, Pitcher's Mint yet. Oh, it didn't feel that different, which is kind of nice, honestly. I think it's, I don't think it throws really fast. I think it just makes it a straight line. Da, 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 da. Sorry. Whoa, hold on. A machete, a boot, and some rope. That's a good deal. That's a steal right there. there. Okay. Oh. They make stealing easier? No. Right now we have to use a rope. In the previous game, you could just do it for free. And I'm sure we'll eventually find a way to steal for free, but like, if the first game was steal for free, they can't make it much easier. Hmm. Alright, then an HD? Ooh, interesting. Guy. Perfect. Less perfect. There he goes. All right. Dick Strat was what I just did with the rope. So, what does he give you for bringing turkeys? Uh, there's a little place you can go to that can have like a crate or a chest. It's nothing huge. Yeah, there's a rope involved in that robbery. You throw a rope and it hits him in that one spot. Okay, hopefully the ghost pot won't randomly happen this time. It's been happening a bit recently. I got hurt. Oh, don't die, don't die. What on God, sir? You died. I think it's less expensive to go this way. Though we do have to deal with the second shopkeeper, so it might not be worth it. We'll give it a shot, we might as well. This run's not particularly great anyway. So it's not a huge loss if we die here. Nice job, idiot. So if we put a bomb here, like right there. Eh, that's a little far. It works, just barely. One bomb can get us there, that works. Hey. We're out of there. Puss clip of the whip only robbery shirt.
Every time I try it, now you can stun them with the press of a button. I said easier, not less expensive. Um, I mean, there were easy robberies in the first game. I know there's one that you could do with a rope and a bomb. Um, oh, and there was one you could do for one health where it was literally just whip him in like, it, okay, in HD, if you stood at the tile in front of the shopkeeper, whipped him, um, he would run into you, you'd bounce on his head and he'd drop a shotgun and it would just cost one health to do. So it's pretty much as easy as that, except you trade a rope instead of one health, which is slightly better, but. If you're doing shopkeep robberies in HD, one health rarely matters, because if you die, you're dead, right? It didn't really matter how much health you had, unless you had the Kapala, in which case you usually have enough health to survive a shopkeep situation. Okay, I saw it. For once. Credit where credit is due, I actually saw it. Oh, I have spike shoes, it's fine. He just died. No black market. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a difference. In HD, you had a ton of options. Wanna trade a bomb for a free kill? Sure. Wanna use one health for a free kill? Sure. Wanna do a strat that costs nothing but requires a little bit of muscle memory? Sure. This one, we have a rope robbery. I'm sure we'll have a one health robbery. There's a whip only robbery that's apparently a bit harder. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. I think the bigger point of concern is that the current shopkeepers are more predictable, which makes them easier to deal with level to level. That's my bigger concern anyway. It's right here. So I just wanna point this out. There is a little bit of rock texture on, on the right of these plants, on this block right here. Like, just to the right of my feet, there's this slight rock texture, and I think that's what you have to look out for now, which is just insane. And the game has completely changed for finding the black market. Hi. All right, right into the black market, huh? All right, it's a good spot. Yang, you might have to die, dude. I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry. I really didn't want to kill you. I'm gonna be honest. There's a bear trap there. What on earth? Oh, that was scary. I did not like that. Not having mobility makes this a little bit harder. What a shocker. No jetpack this time. I have to remember that if I am hovering and I shoot, the hover cancels. You all right? Okay. It's worth trying to save the damsel, but I need to deal with the shopkeeper first again. Could have seen it for the trapped lady area too though. Oh, you can tell the black market exists like for free because the bottom of the level, 
you can look down. That's that's how you know what the black market level is. But finding the exact entrance, like low percent style, is gonna be kinda awkward. You can kind of derive it from that, but... I don't know, I haven't had many opportunities to do it unless I just don't understand it well enough, which is totally possible. And perhaps it's even likely. I don't love this. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use a bomb over here, in fact. I see from this side then poor mosquito oh I ran into the wall I'm an idiot I did it again it's the shotgun knocking me back okay that was terrifying get a bomb the black market by bombing mannequin down a bunch no there's bedrock in the way Hey, it's all with the level the BM is on. Uh, the bottom will have a bedrock layer, but then there will be more terrain under it. The compass will point to two exits, and there was something else that you could do. There's a lot of ways you can find the black market level. Yeah, spike boots save you from thorns um, on the top, obviously not the sides, as you just saw. Ah, for goodness sake, this is bad. Shotgun jump. I wonder if that was intentional. Okay. Ugh, goodness gracious. I made that. Love the bear traps. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the bear traps, I'll be honest. I'll get used to them, but god, right now they suck. <sighs> it's like golden trees, exactly. Air traps versus the moles, easily. Oop, not what I wanted. That works. Convenient kitty? Hello kitty! Oh. That saved me a rope too! That's amazing! Ah! What is the point? Like, why is this such a weak reward? Puts us at four out of eight required. There's a mole. I didn't want to jump on him, no. Ugh. Actually, we can just deal with the shopkeeper. Oh. Well, let's find out if this still works. So we get a power pack. This is shotgun jumpable. Uh. 
whatever. Just kill me. It's not worth it. I can't believe it. That's a fate worse than death. I would have rather instantly died. Teleport me into a wall. Just don't give me climbing gloves. Good God. I don't know if our pack removes the shotgun not back. That would be really quirky to say the least. And right, here we go again. What is he doing there? Another jetpack. All right. I am the jetpack king, apparently. Wait, did the power pack make? I was wondering why I went so far. I think you guys are right. And I don't like that you're right. I wish you were wrong. Power pack tell. No! No, that's too much. That's too much. Why would you make the any percent category worse? Why would you do that? Derek. Derek, why? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to beat you up. I just wanted to kill you. Um, we could get another health by killing Baby Yang here. I don't think that's worth it, because he does show up in the black market. Or the brother, I don't know. The idea is I think he might aggro in the black market, and I'd rather not have another threat in there. Fire climbing gloves bad? They killed me. They always kill me. They make the jetpack worse. Since pack only buffs weapons? That's not necessarily true. I mean, and teleporter could be considered a weapon. Did you see how far I went? I went like two sub segments. I'm trying to remember, there was... I mean, it affects bombs, right? Would you call bombs a weapon? I don't know. It might not, but signs are pointing towards the fact that it changed the teleporter. Hi. Um, actually, there's an altar right here, so no. Stop. Stop. You idiot! Stop! Good God! Jesus Christ. Why? Okay, they're dead. Okay. You might be able to keep the damsel alive, actually, which is nice. Oops. Gotta keep my eye on the timer, though. So that's one, two, at minimum, it could be more. Five at minimum. Could be as much as seven right now. Okay, we don't have spike shoes. I didn't mean to do that. 
satisfying though. Nice. We get to keep our kitty. Or invigorate. Invigoration on our first altar, by the way. hands to sleep. There's like eight different modes. People don't like guys in HD. Yeah, they're awful. It's like gonna get skilled? Yes, by a bear trap, obviously. But I'll have more health until that happens. What are the points needed for invigoration? Um, maybe. I forget what invigoration requires in the first game, honestly. I, I never remembered if it was 32 or 24. You get to live, Kitty. I'm not going to feast on your blood any further. Oh. That sounded like a bowling ball hitting pins. All right, and then, and then? No. You know what? I don't need you. Really? You're supposed to be docile because you're mad and scared. You suck. Right. Skim the top of the boss and you might get a bomb bag out of it. Give it a shot, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Could you do your thing? No! It's fine, it's fine, I'm fine. I'm not upset for any reason. There is no reason for me to be upset. That was definitely fine. I was definitely not at the exact same distance away. <laughs> oh my God, these arrow traps. Ugh. It always just rolls at me. I, I mean, I think it's based on proximity, but I'm starting to question that because freaking didn't feel like I was any further. Whatever, we'll do a cape run. Oh no, it's the Ujit level and we're at the bottom. No, no. Oh. Oh yeah. Power pack totally removes the um, shotgun kickback, which is kind of a nerf actually. I'll use a rope. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine.
I'm good, thanks. Try and guide the kitty and just let it go crazy. Oh, there's an altar. The game has changed. Sorry, Yang Jr. The game has changed. That guy's selling a rock. I so badly want to visit that shop. You guys don't even understand how badly I want to be in that shop. Change my mind. Let's be friends. <sighs> nothing, nothing is ever worth it with those. It's, it's never right. It's never right. Oh yeah, the shopkeeper. Bye. Oh my god. See where those shops sell a plasma cannon? I find that hard to believe, but... Not impossible to believe. You are gone, see you. See you around. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Okay, you... And I need to have a talk, all right, buddy? Figure your business out now. Don't care, bye, don't care. I just need you guys to know that it is actually really hard for me to whip this cat. Like, I got used to whipping the pug pretty quickly, but I'm still, like, mentally, like, I can't do this, but I have to. Yeah, come on back. Hey. Shotgun jumped, but rope works too. Let's have the hamster too. Yeah, we're all cool. We're all cool hitting the pug apparently. But uh, but the rest, oh, it's tough. Feel more vitriol than normal towards them. I did kill the butterfly. I did so with a shotgun. It was reasonable and fair. We got spike shoes, which is nice. Is that an altar? Oh my god. Yes, it is. Look 
<laughs> He's so happy about his rock. Oops. <gasps> what am I doing? <sighs> I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Why? I'm ordering food. I, I need to order food to feel better. God, I mean, come on. Come on, Splunk, you can't do this to me. It's not very nice. Please stop. <laughs> we'll, go to, we'll go to the camp. Stop being greedy? No! Oh my god, I actually hurt him. Wait. Oh, weird. He even has to doodle bits. <laughs> no, but food will help. I need sustenance. I can't eat drawings. Otherwise, society would be, um, wow. <sighs> Find out a way to kill them? That would be mean but also fair. Wait! Welcome down the ladder to cut her. <sighs> Can't believe you found the mothership before finding petting the cat. <laughs> Thank you for the ten doodle chip chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Don't judge me, okay? I have my priorities straight. <laughs> I want to go back to the mothership, actually. Let's do a- we'll do a quick mothership detour. In a sec. After I obtain food. Or order it, at least. I'll obtain it later. Ah, <sighs> oh, God. Goodness gracious. <laughs> found the mothership before I found petting the cat. It's very typical of me. I wouldn't expect anything less. Wouldn't expect anything less. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. All right, cool. Let's go to the mothership once more. I mean, do I, I, like, is definitely something that's not that hard to find. It's pretty clear and clear cut for anybody who's played the first game for a long enough time. Okay, so. This should be the sixth tile. The game with the plasma gun, we can give that a shot, yeah. Cool. 
Cool. That works. I might grab these. I don't need them. So this is the sixth tile here. So I needed to do that. Drat. Try finding a power pack too, right? Of lasers. Um, I don't think it would travel fast enough. Dang. The mech has a jetpack that can help. Actually, the mech just makes me huge, too. So I wouldn't need to be very precise about it. That being said, the jetpack is super weak. Just as shy as the freaking push block was. Okay, hold on. We need to see if there's a shop. Doesn't look like there is. Very sad. There's a thing after Neo Babylon, um, but there is a secret zone through the City of Gold that we're currently invested in somewhat. Okay, uh, I'm gonna die. I'm like, how did I ever get this so many times in a row? Remember when that happened and I just got to go in four consecutive times and we thought it was for sure figured out? And then it wasn't figured out at all and I'm an idiot? Oh, I'm a cheeky. Oh, a compass. That helps me, not at all. They probably patched it. What? They patched the entrance? Do you guys think the thing in the abyss was a bug? Like, do, that, that's not how bugs work. You don't just slip up and, oh, I accidentally put an exit in the abyss. Silly, what was I thinking? Oh, and I accidentally put an exit in the mothership under the bedrock. That was, oh, that was so silly of me. What was I thinking? How goofy. Opposite the natural exit of the level? I don't know, we tried to check it. It might be more likely, but I think it might just be random, I'm gonna be honest. We gave a few things a shot and nothing seemed to line up, but we'll, we'll see. No gift box this time. I've got my eye on you. So it's on the right. So we'll go on the left. This is the fifth tile, so we'll land between these two. Yeah. Krill skip? What, the mothership thing? Or the ice caves thing? 
Is it named after Krill? Come on, I found it like... Way earlier yesterday. If he found it before me, fair enough. But I found it early, I'll say that much. Go away. Um. I should be easier accessible? Why? Why would they make a secret? Like, like th this is a secret. The point is that it's supposed to be ridiculous. That's like the entire point. One, two, three, so it should be here. I'm doing a mix of both, dropping straight in between blocks. Between blocks should be fine. I mean, if you land in between blocks, it should be okay. But might as well give it a mix. Dang it! On the mothership. Krill can have his mothership skip. <laughs> okay. Alright. I also feel like I should be getting it, but I think I'm getting really unlucky. Hi! How's it going? Oh, it ruined my drop. Very sad. One, three, four, five. So this is the sixth tile. I just wanted to go to the mothership. Oh my god. Uh, the mammoth head spawns in multiple places. It's just a background thing. There's one. Ow. There's one. There's one. They're just all over the place. There were a lot of mammoths in the past. As you might recall. Easy peasy. Well, that one's a hex skip, not a curl skip. Let's be real for a sec. We'll do it the tough way. The epic way. If they're not gonna play nice, neither am I. by accident, I think. There has to be an intended solution. I did not find it by accident. I could not have been more methodical. It was on the right, yeah, but we couldn't push it right. Could have done it? I don't... Could I have? I mean, I might have been able to do it if I had enough bombs, but the freaking vault was in the way. Like, maybe the push block thing wasn't meant to be for the mothership entrance, and I even would argue that there is definitely other way to do it. 
but like, oh, does that mean that it's there? It blew up. I don't know if it would normally blow up. I assume it would, but. Well, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> you can drop aliens, actually, because they. Whatever. We're going to the mothership. I want to go. So much for they patched it, huh? To do a shotgun jump. I'm scared. <sighs> yeah, I think all the exits are preset for sure. I just don't know how to determine which exit is currently being used. That's my big problem. <sighs> anyway. No, I didn't make it above the Mermaid boss. We can give it a shot with this. I mean, why not, right? I'm not sure if anyone else has gotten up there yet. I, I think I briefly saw a conversation about it in the Discord, but that's it. It could make it easier. It depends upon how it plays out. Because I'm not sure if the plasma cannon is really going to be able to make anything happen. Because it might just get blocked by the, like all the laser stuff. so bad at this game. Ah. Well, while we're here, we might as well keep doing this. Ow! To the bottom entrance to the mice ship. Can you try a flip thing out of it to see if it's in solid block as opposed to a non-solid platform? I think it's a platform, but I'll give it a shot. I don't think it was there, but. Okay, well the normal platform got destroyed, but I landed on a different one instead, so that's cool. Uh, this is the sixth tower right here. Okay, it's a block. Well, it depends upon what you mean by exact methodology. If you want to know how to find that little spot right there, we don't know. It's just random in a few set locations based upon where the place is in the mothership. If it's on the right, it's six tiles from the side of the wall, um, for example. The way that I found the mothership initially is that you can see that the exit that I come out of once I go through the mothership is one block above the ground, which means you can't go back through it. But there's a push block higher up in the level, which I spent two hours 
maneuvering through ice caves levels, attempting to get it to line up exactly. And then I eventually did, and that allowed me to enter the mothership initially. I think the left exit is five from the side. I might be wrong, though. It's really annoying to test right now because we don't have a standard method of getting there. Okay. Okay, I need to try plasma cannon for jumping. Okay, it's very much a thing. No, we didn't figure out the mothership entrances, unfortunately. I, app ah! I appreciate the sound cue for the plasma cannon reload. He hasn't found the intended way yet? Yeah, I haven't. I, well, I think we found the intended entrance, but we don't know how to find it. Always the same horizontal distance relative to each other? I believe so. They are, so, they may not always be in the same spot, but they're they are in one of two tiles, absolutely guaranteed. I can, I can almost swear on my life, right? Because there are two tile gaps where the exits fit into. So, even if we don't necessarily know which tile it is, you can just split the middle and still land on it, so. Or you could ledge grab. Because if it's if you're off by one, you would land on the ledge, and if you're not, you would land on the block. What is the purpose of the purple altar in the ice cave? I am almost certain it's eggplant related. I don't know for sure though. I guess next time I find a, an eggplant seed, I should probably just go for it though. I think I'm at this point decent enough to carry an eggplant at least to the ice caves. So here's what we do. Okay. So if it was six tiles away, I would have ledge grabbed. And if it wasn't, I would have fallen on it. So I was guaranteed to have found it in that situation if it was there. It wasn't, so it was on some other side, whatever. The point is that you can be safe with a ledge grab. This is the fifth tile. Okay, okay. I moved at the last second and it killed me, but you can see that I landed on it at the fifth tile. So I believe it's six from the right and five from the left. If it's something in Tide Pool, the only thing that I've done is grab the sword from the stone. I haven't done anything past that. So if it's relating to anything further than that, then I definitely haven't done it. Okay. Oh god, uh, cool. The freaking plasma cannon, I forgot. Bye.
What should I on the bottom right? Mm -hmm. I think that would be stupid, but it could be true. If it has multiple exits, that would be really awkward. I wouldn't see the point. But I can't, I can't confirm that it's not true, so maybe. Can I just not die in this area? Uh. Nice, we got a good push block. We can do this. It's over here, guaranteed. So this is the sixth tile. Just need to be right there. Yeah, I actually didn't know where it was. Okay, don't don't be misunderstanding. Although, no. That should be fine. Okay, bye. Shop. No, it's the idol. Okay. Easy. Oh. Okay, so hear me out. Hear me out. Hover pack is a guaranteed mothership entrance. Not a chance. It's a guarantee. Ah, why am I like this? I forgot that I needed a rope. It's fine. I didn't Europe, I didn't have any. I used a rope to get to the shop. Ooh. The letter H! Okay, so. Hear me out. The mothership is here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I've been using a rope so far. Don't get too excited. Oh my god, calm down. I shouldn't have laughed. It's still entirely speculative. I don't know yet, but we'll see. We'll keep giving it a shot. I can at least see my points so far. With a whopping sample size of two, no less. No elevator, get out of here. Oh God. I swear this area was not as mean yesterday. Does the eight have something to do with it? <laughs> oh, if only. The mothership is dedicated to Hectic, who will probably be the first one to discover it. Derek Yu, sometime not too long ago.
sounds of revelry. Oh God. Why'd I do that? That was a bad idea. Uh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Mothership testing continues. Dang it, so close. And to respond to that there must be some reliable way? No, not necessarily. Derek's on record is by saying that, like, Lunky 2, you won't necessarily need... You, uh, Sorry, you won't necessarily be able to do everything in a single run. So it might not be reliable. I think it is on this side. <laughs> okay, there it goes. <laughs> we'll keep trying it. I might just, the thing is, so I'm, I'm basing it on the lowest layer of terrain. My assumption was that there might be certain parts of the ground that were considered um, like valid, like, land that you can stand on consistently, right? Because a lot of ice caves level segments are pretty hard to get to under certain circumstances. That's right off the rope. I'm trying to position myself relative to the exit. Sometimes I can't put the rope in the right spot. Okay. So based upon my idea, it would be here. And we can do that to line up the ledge grab. Okay. Yeah, the robot's really cute and like is really fleshed out as like a character skin. for the other mothership door in these runs. I mean, if you're trying to associate it with the upper exit, we've already done that and it didn't seem to have any bearing, but I can keep looking. Indecent, alien! Indecent. I guess we could try and disprove my theory by checking here. In fact, we could even do this. Yeah, you can ledge grab the area the door is on. It's on an actual block. <clears> hmm. <throat> oh, ship up exit was on the right side. I guess it was in the middle. We tried that earlier, but it didn't seem to have a bearing. Um, when the mothership exit was on the left side, we thought it meant that the exit was on the right, and then that did not seem to be the case, but we'll give it a shot. Again. Just in case. Ooh, I couldn't tell. I wanted to see if you could still boulder cancel, but I wasn't necessarily fast enough. Actual entrance to the mothership? Shouldn't that have bearing on where the exit would spawn? This is the actual entrance. This isn't a fake entrance. This is uh, kind of how it works. Unless you want to argue that the exit is the entrance, but they're both ambiguous and the quote-unquote exit in this scenario is immensely 
more complicated to get to. At least not without some special secondary item. It's not the idol. We've already gone through pretty much every random piece of terrain being an indicator. What's the difference between Splunky 1 and Splunky 2? One is the first game and the other is the sequel. Is this the bottom layer? Okay, so you said that when it was on the right, you would think it's in the middle. We'll give that a shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So it'll be between these two. So if I ledge hang here, it should be safe. It's not there. So we checked Waddle or two. Again, it's not some random piece of terrain. We checked like all of them. We did Waddler, we did the altar, we did the idol, we did the Moai, we did the exit, we did the mothership exit. We did all of them. All of them were done. Did we find it by accident? We didn't find it by accident. I found, I got through the exit to find this entrance through brute force uh, after a lot of work, but there's probably something in the game that will show you where that is. I just don't know what it is and I'm trying to find another way to do it anyway. Can't actually ledge grab while falling because of death trigger? Uh, no, you'd ledge grab before you hit the death trigger because it's at the very top. We we ledge hung earlier and it didn't kill me, which means that it's safe to be on the ledge. Here's another dumb idea. So, three, four, five, six. Be right here. Okay, not that either. Yeah, I, I think it's, there's something and I don't know what it is and we're not gonna figure it out anytime soon. It's always on 5-1, there's only one Ice Caves level. So yes. Falling into a death trigger and hanging into it. Um, I mean, that would be imply that landing on a ledge is different than ledge hanging, which isn't. A death trigger should not be nebulous. Play Among Us, I see. Dropping items and listening for audio? Yeah, I'm not sure. The problem is it's really hard to drop an item with that precision. Yeah, I got food. No, there are three places it can spawn. There's a central entrance, a right side entrance, and the left side entrance, so. Ugh. No guarantee we can fight without that item? Yes, and that's kind of what we're trying to hopefully disprove, but not certainly. With Jetpack Teleporter? Hover pack is like the perfect way to do it. Hover pack is a guaranteed mothership entrance. Because you just hover at ledge hang, tight, and then you're good. You'll run into it. Dang it. Why am I like this? Not wet fur. Let me let me say this extremely loud and clear. Extremely extremely loud and clear. It's not a random level segment. We tested all of them. I swear to God, if it's obvious enough to think of in two minutes, we thought of it. Cold Frost, thank you for the prime sub. We found a new area, Mind's Eye, through the City of Gold. The goal is to get back there because I keep dying. Okay, I guess I don't get anything from that shop robbery. Three bombs. We found Duat. I 
bedroom has the stuff that explodes. Yeah, I just forgot that there was a bomb bag on the right. And I'm not sure if bomb boxes explode because I've shot bomb boxes before and they were fine. Uh, we can't shotgun jump this. I meant to put down the shotgun, but then I got in the rope and shot because of how the thing works. <laughs> Do you have anything special? It has the big dang scary snake from the trailer. Ropes. No, I didn't beat Duet. I've died in there twice. Both times to a certain friend. This guy, he is very good at killing me. But now I understand how he works a lot better. So next time I get there, I shouldn't die to him. So question, answer, daily double, okay. Oh, that sucks. Rich find those guys, do what? Don't worry, I'm gonna go back there soon-ish, hopefully. Is anybody to get the mothership? Yes. Well, 50-50. Need to get better at throwing him downward. Oops, I'm dead. I died there. <laughs> I couldn't even reset fast enough. I'm naturally that bad. Oh god, all planned. I mean, I'm sure there's something that lets you find where it is in the abyss correctly. I don't know what that is. Yeah, wow, these guys have four health. They're just like me. I'm sure someone on PC will figure out how it works if it's not just random. Purple Altar is almost definitively eggplant related. I Maybe eggplant would help you go to the mothership, but that feels unrelated to me. Let's just hope it's not over there. The Ujidai, that is. Oh, nice. Here's a question. I deserve that. We'll just shotgun jump and see if it's over here. It is... Uh, it's up there. Why? It's fine, it's fine. Got I have pace. Uh, 
Uh, we can do that. Cool. Oh, come on! I like having bombs. You don't need to take them all away. Please. I could be involved. It just it seems unrelated to me. I would use robot and eggplant runs, maybe? Perhaps. Are there theory, theories about this game do you have? Um, right now, I'm not too theory heavy. The mothership entrance was my big one, and it worked out flawlessly, so I have a 100% track record. Um, that's how it works. Uh, but right now, I'm just looking into Duot stuff. Oh, nice, we get to keep the bombs. It's double nice because we really need the bombs. Uh. I discovered I just did the like tricks from HD to go to hell. And instead of going to hell, I wound up in Duot. Also, my food is here. I will be right back. Um, enjoy this faint jungle music. Uh, it'll be very cool, I promise. I believe in you. I have chicken, you are jealous. Epic. 
The chicken is fried and spicy. Wait, I meant to be on the rope. I'm sorry. Oh God, why? Oh. When a man trap ironically keeps a keeps a shopkeeper from being trapped. Yeah, I just got blazing wings, just for fun. Just felt like it. All right, this is the black market. The, the level with the black market. This itself is not the black market yet. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say, where are the bears? Oh, it's here. God, this feels like the classic Ujidai. It's wild. All right, one health. No biggie. Flawless Black Market is my middle name. Don't ask. Don't ask about it. It's normal. Oh, they're not aggroed yet. Perfect. Even though the hired help is just hanging out. They're just cool with it. I could swear they were dead. That was my mistake though. You guys wanna take like a 10 minute break so I can eat food? That seems like a plan to me. Who's on stream? I already am that for now. Epic. I've been live for five hours. Are you kidding me? It's felt like two. It's a scary thing is what it is, to be honest. I'm gonna keep playing Spelunky 2 and I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I'm 80. What happened? That's impressive, Deadly. You should get a crate web gun followed by a crate, crate web gun. That'd be a good idea. there would be more story journal entries eventually, but I guess they're just the recap of the tutorial. Right now, Spelunky 2 feels like a really fun sequel. If a little bit, um, every now and then there's something that's a bit iffy, right? But overall, this game has expanded in an interesting way upon the first, right? I don't feel like I'm just playing Spelunky 1. I feel like I'm playing an actual sequel, which is really nice. Did 
Did you miss anything? I don't know. Did you see the mothership? That was pretty cool. Okay, I just checked Discord, and I have a message from my editor saying that the VOD that I sent him doesn't have access, he can't get it, and I got so scared because I haven't checked Discord for hours and hours and hours, but the message was from two minutes ago. I just checked at the exact right time. It's like the best feeling. Yeah, Deadly, I do. I think there's a bit more iffiness, but it's just a bigger game, so it makes sense. I got so confused for a moment. I was like, why is the damsel sparkling? And then I realized that the golden guy was walking behind her. <laughs> Zippo, I think you just have to recognize that this game's been out for two days. Like, people are trying to play the game before they start taking all the, taking into all the secrets, except for me, because I suck. I doubt people in my Discord are discussing much secret stuff. They're just spoiler boxing stuff so people don't get spoiled. If there's a channel to look at in Spelunky Discords, it's probably the official Discord science channel. That's most likely where stuff will be.
Food's pretty good, but I always eat really fast when I'm on stream because I want to get back to streaming. So I might choke to death, we'll see. I'm gonna be honest. Mm. About this whole dying thing. I've died 700 or 407 times, and I'm still fine, so. What is the ice caves level? been on Twitch for a while but I am back. Space, thank you for the prime sub for two months. Enjoy your connecting your dogs off our Twitch for as long as you're subscribed. I appreciate it, please so thank you. Monster 20. Volcana. I see. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. <laughs> I say thank you for the privacy for four months. 
And do your naked dogs all the attention for as long as you're subscribed. I appreciate it for your well. Thank you very much. The oldest weird reference that I can think of is the stupid Myla He Myla Who song. Yeah, Numa Numa. Stupid things can be great. For example, I'm stupid, and I could be great, but I'm not. But it could happen. All right, I'm sending you to space. Go! Yikes! Oh, they don't care. Cool. Yikes! Let's go to the place. I've got food in my body now. And you know what they say. Stay hydrated. Ugh. I didn't save you any, but I got enough for tomorrow too, so. I will continue to have them without you. Want bombs? Uh, 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 yes. Dun dun ba dun bam 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 dun 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 dun. All right, so we should have our Ujidai here. There's the chest. But where could the key be? like a few hours, but we got there. And isn't that truly what matters? You 
know what else truly matters? Getting to the exit within three minutes. Oh! Making the shopkeeper's path there, like, or back and forth pattern not random, is such a nice change. It was so obnoxious to just sit there and hope that he moves in the correct direction. Yeah, 1-4 always has the porcupine guy. No, we never got to the top of Tiamat. Dang, I thought she could make it. Ooh, okay. We also get paste down there, which is really nice. Let's put a bomb right here. Although our lack of um, ropes is rough. Yeah, okay. Uh... I still can't get the pace without the bomb, but. <sighs> Shotgun jumping is going to be the way we persist for a while, it seems. Okay. Ooh, a shop. And the camera means it's especially shop, which means a jetpack! Yes! Don't shoot it, don't shoot it. Oh my god. Don't shoot the freaking jetpack. Truce. Neither of us want the jetpack to die. No, no. Okay. The stakes just got a lot higher. Because now we're working with a run that actually matters. Dead? Yes. Where is the kitty? Our lack of ropes doesn't really matter much anymore. I guess Kitty was on the right somewhere? Yeah, right here. No! Get it through your thick skull, Collie! Jesus Christ! Good lord, I'm never gonna take it, no matter how many times you put it in front of me. You should've learned from the first game.
These areas very rarely have much of use. I, I kind of hope they buff these, because, I don't know. They just feel like an out-of-the-way gesture that doesn't really give you much for finding it. Two giant spiders, wow. Guys, I... I think my my skin is crawling. I <laughs> get it. <laughs> that is a huh? Spelunky HD reference. Um, we did find a dog earlier. Dog. Uh, we found a kitty. A little kitty. Just go on the other way. Bye bye. See ya. See ya later. Bye. You know it's bad when you're climbing down a rope while you have a jetpack. That's the side of a run that's in danger. Just one extra health. Come on. I almost died. That pot could have had an enemy. That also could have had an enemy. Oh. That one did. Let's get the shotgun. Anything else I can bleed? Good enough. We got one droplet. I'm out of here. See you later. No, thank you. God. Oh. Yeah, Splunky is a juxtaposition of cute, cartoony, artistic representation and like chaotic evil nightmares. <laughs> I mean, I don't deserve this, but I'm gonna take advantage of it. <laughs> Invigoration for me? Hmm. You're simply too kind. Well, there it goes. I'm just using the heck out of these bombs. They have gone a long way for me. the kitty. Okay. Let's face it. We're right next to a segment they can't handle anyway. They can't deal with these thorned blocks. They completely fall apart at the sight of them. So not smart. It's the black market level, so we can't leave. I'm a god! I'm a god! Go! Black market with a ghost and three HP. It's cool. Nope, doesn't go away. Okay. <laughs> ah, 
why am I so bad at the jungle? Who on earth thinks Volcana is harder? Who thinks that? I want to know. game. Oh my god. gets you a lot more, but it's not easier. No way. No how. Well, that's nice and easy. And we have a Kapala. Nice. Sadly, we froze the shopkeeper, so we can't use his corpse. I like how I literally am calling it a Kapala. Not an altar, a Kapala. That just goes to show you how much easier it is now. Come on. Are you kidding me? All right, whatever. I guess that's that for this level. Jeez, that was short and sweet. to come out? Also, let's try this. Alright, I don't want to talk about it. The dude is broken. This mole is not working. Mine's broken. I want a new one. He's just... Okay. Be in the air for an arrow whip? Yes, yes, you can. I just leave the idol because I angered shopkeepers. What am I going to use the money for? saw that reflection coming. I may not see anything else coming, but at least I saw that. Isn't there something over here I wanted to do, or was I just waiting here because of the shopkeeper? Well, there's turkeys, so we might as well do that. Okay. All right. 
Okay, sure. Cool. <laughs> Swear to God, Derek. call it an upwards arrow whip because it was just a jump. I'm not too bad at like doing it off of a single tile, but multiple tiles is really hard for me. But like flying is and, and rope climbing, it makes it really hard. strap for that is. Yeah, because you guys are mean. Very mean, very cool. I'm gonna cry at least once. This game, not wrong. So, what does this do with the crossbow? I don't know, but I owned him. Like, is it literally just. Is the bounce the extra effect? I don't know. Not jet pack. Ooh. So, shotgun jumping gets nerfed by the power pack, and I need to keep that in mind. Is there any way we can do this where we can get up without a rope? Yes, it's in this pit. But we need a rope to get into the pit, so it kind of defeats the point, huh? I think it just knows what it is here. We get spring shoes, that'd be awesome. Take those, but not right now. Also, I didn't need to use that rope. I could have used a bomb afterwards, but that's fine. Okay, so we have two favor. This will put us to three. If we can get the, uh... If we can get the, uh, what's it called? The lizard boy up here? Then we have the Kapala because the shopkeeper will account for the last three favor at that point. Um, but he's stuck up there. Oh God. That worked. Okay. Not bad. Okay, we have 30 seconds to get the Kapala and get the Ujidai. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Urgh. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Yeah, 
spawn up here. Spawn up here. Alright, we'll get a shotgun later. Yeah, the whip is uh, a burning attack with the power pack. Which should let you cook um, turkeys, I think. find out. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. <clears throat> Another power pack, I see. We should be able to, oh. We should be able to deal with the shopkeepers pretty easily. Because they're below, we'll just drop a bomb. That'll kill at least one of them. Is this dude just stuck? Okay. There he goes. Do we just leave? Whatever. It is a big bomb, yeah. Power pack drain mech. Imagine if there was a Splunky 3. No, I haven't power packed the um, plasma cannon yet. Power pack doesn't interest me very much, but. I have a feeling it'll be a, a favorite of a lot of people. Could you just do your job? Oh my God. Thank you. the bombs and we're low on bombs too so that's extra good mm. Mm. Ugh. uh yeah i feel bad about that one i'll be honest Dude, the shopkeeper's so far away he abandoned his post. Oh, I've done it again. Um, you know what? It was all planned. <laughs> Drops a cooked turkey, yeah. It's a little bit interesting. It's also concerning how readily we eat that turkey, so, uh, hmm. You tempt me, Kali. You know how to tempt a fool. I will give you that much. That being said, we're not gonna like bomb three. We don't have the bombs to be using them willy nilly. Not this time, anyway. Love the cavemen so much. They're so funny. Yeah, check that out. It reduces the the kickback of the shot, which makes it 
not shotgun jumpable anymore. That's wild. So we have a fire whip. We can just do that, right? Oh! Okay. I see what's going on here. Can we just do that? Oh, sick. Dude, power pack, not bad. Ooh, wait a minute. Was I not paying attention? Because I think I wasn't paying attention and I think I am all ears now. We get shotgun jumping. Thank God I didn't blow up the ghost pod. Good God. I, why do I even talk? Why do I talk? What purpose does it serve? I'm sorry, I just, I was so excited to shotgun jump again, okay? I just really wanted to. I shot the wrong way though. Whatever, it's fine, it's cool. Look, we're good. We got the cape. We got the shotgun jumping. What more could we need? That's right, nothing. We've just beat Spelunky. Two. Invigoration last time? Not this time, though. Also? No, no. Oh. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, how do we do this? Shop. What a shop! Oh my god! Oh, the kitty saved itself. I didn't even realize. It went through the exit, not even into the shop. Uh, we gotta be like one or two off, right? Did destroying that voodoo corpse seal me away from my invigoration? Probably not. We can get the caveman. And there's no black market here, so we're moving on. Black market's on this level. Okay. Okay. Are you kidding me? Boomerang. He's like, oh, my friends carry these. Oh, 
Oh. Am I willing to use a bomb to get around? I don't know if I can do it. The first guy didn't shoot at it. And I was like, okay, so we're safe at this range? But the other guys did. Mm. It might just be that I was like facing a certain way and that changed it, but I don't know. Maybe the other guy's AI just wasn't aggroed on me or something. It wasn't a- I mean, I think at the end it was a stun lock. There was a brief moment where I could have moved, but it wasn't enough. Um, we could get health from the turkeys, but... This moment, I'm going to book it, as they say. Okay. Now I'll definitely get the turkeys, because we have so many bombs. was over here, right, I think? Another bomb for another health. Sure. As long as he doesn't drop the key on me again. explosive stuff in shops and if I shoot them they will blow up with the shotgun that is so you'll see me when I'm robbing shops oftentimes not shoot the shopkeeper right away because there will be something explosive between me and him um <clears throat> like a jet pack or bombs or something like that well in anything pack really Freaking turkey. This feels like the new pot strats. Collecting turkey carcasses, putting them in the same spot, and then blowing them all up with the same bomb. Turkey carcass strats. Still worth it. I'm just mad. I have to use a rope because of how I did this. What is with me and my just wait? I could have used the. I'm done talking. I'm, I'm, there's no more talking for the rest of the stream. I'm done. Almost made a terrible mistake. If I dropped that key there, I think it would have been destroyed. Like if I do this. Okay, that one was safe. There we go. Okay, uh, well, you know what? It's probably fine. Why did it drop all the way down here? <laughs> I don't usually see it go that far. Okay. 
physics, that's why. Yeah, I'm just sad. Where are you testing? We're trying to go back to Duat. I'm just failing. Ooh. Right. I forgot. <laughs> extra bombs, which I guess was how we had our one start on one of our runs, but it's not the most incredible start to have. Of course I got a Wily e. Coyote the shopkeeper. Oh god. Like, uh, oh, hold on. I have to know how this works. Oh, come on. What? Okay, that's fine. That's cool. We didn't get a shop. Uh, whatever. Gotta start learning our low percent duot route anyway. Ujidai or anything, you're right. I'll find the black market all by myself. It'll be epic. on helps and I think occasionally you can even get like free access because sometimes the way the like sub level generates can be like connected but it's a bit quirky I gotta say I preferred being able to carry the chest around instead of the key well rather having the option between one or the other I didn't account for it. It's kind of annoying to deal with, but it's fine most times. Yeah. Oh my god. Cobwebs are brutal in this one. on it, but I think the whip is slightly weaker in this game. I feel like the old whip's hitbox lingered for noticeably long longer than this game's whip hitbox, which is interesting. Whip changes are always going to be interesting to me. Because on the one hand, the whip being the strongest item in the first game was pretty good, but on the other hand, it arguably was too strong a lot of the time. So a whip nerf is a curious thing. I 
think that shopkeep property strat's pretty good, I'm gonna be honest. What you have to do is you have to uh, pick up the shotgun and then you shoot him and he dies. So try it out for yourself. It's a little complex, but you know, I'm sure you can get the hang of it with a few tries. Oh, we're gonna use a bomb here. So we have way more bombs than ropes. the rock i'm asking how on earth did the rock ever get to a ghost pot how did that happen i'm i'm gonna lose my mind <laughs> you threw it god that's thank you that's some helpful, pertinent information that I lacked previously. I thought it wizarded its way out of my hands. Now I know not to throw it. I see what's going on here. Right by. Okay, we got some turkey situation here. You can live there now. What the? Uh, okay. I don't think I took damage there, but it is really hard to tell sometimes. Wait, there's four turkeys on this level. Dude, this is... This has, like, invigoration potential. This is ridiculous. So we have a guaranteed Kapala right now. Let's, let's get that sorted. And we don't even need to use a rope? Are you kidding me? Oh my... Oh my god. Altars are so... Good in this game. There's our item. dying just because his health is low and I don't realize. Invigoration. Altars are insane in this game. Uh, 12 health, 1 dash 2, not a big deal. And what? I have 55 bombs and 12 health on the second level of the game. 
I could sacrifice more, but I just don't have time. I don't have time to sacrifice everything on this level. I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. This is absolute insanity. God. It's a meme, right? This is a meme? This isn't actually a run I'm allowed to submit? <clears throat> Are there more rewards? I think you can um, stack invigoration. I don't think it's a one-time thing. The one problem is that we don't know where the Ujinai is. Oh, it's right here. Right? do that. Never mind. You gotta do that. Then grab this. No ropes required. See that air gun. Out of there. Sorry, damsel. Yep. So invigoration is repeatable. Yeah, I bet you're ecstatic with me, Kali. Um, so that's 28 health on the, you know, carry the two, uh, the third level of the game. get another invigoration with that shopkeeper corpse right there. I could do it. I'm not going to though. All right. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Could you freaking... Okay. Nice. One health, dude, that's pretty sick. And three bomb, guys, a health and three bombs were loaded. I was pretty worried about both of those resources and now I am not. Beetle, no! I need to step on you. Don't be ridiculous. Oh my god! It's a Lunky One exit! There's still a thing! I missed these. It feels right at home now.
All right, cool. I will point to the fact, though, that we have, like, no items. The only items we have are spring boots, which we got, of course, from an altar. So if we could get a few more, like, mobility-related things, that'd be sick. I mean, I immediately get paced for complaining, so that's pretty cool. Now I'll die to a man trap. It'll be cool. No, my health. Ouch, ow. I see the ghost pot. I have learned to never trust myself around the ghost pot. Oh my God! Yeah, more royal jaw seems good. 39 health. What's in the, oh, that's gold. Can he get to 40? Yes. Yes, he can. He might not though, but he could. That was the question after all, not will he. Okay, we got there. Oh my God, yes. I just have to ask for something and it is presented to me. I forgot, ow. Ow. Okay. No black market, so I guess we're out of here. See you later. Ask for a jetpack? Okay. I would like a jetpack. Oh. That's not a jetpack at all. I can't wait to get cursed and lose all of my everything. On the bright side, we got specs on literally the previous level, so. I guess I was somewhat accounted for. Oh no. Oh, he brought that bomb right to me. Luckily, I had 40 health, so it did not matter. Who did I? here. Okay. And I was going to call it a draw. I meant to keep that alive, but... Oh god.
my specs. Oh, right. Okay. Had to be careful about the reflecting bullets there. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I'm looking for the ghost pot now, okay? I've learned my lesson after like the fifth time. Maybe the eighth, probably the 17th. But one of those numbers, at least. Maybe the combination of the three. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's fine. Why not use all our bombs like this, right? Like, I mean, what do we have to lose? Okay, we've got this to deal with now. Ay -ay -ay. That was way too close to something really awful. Look, I'm just a task, okay? I knew I wasn't getting a hit. All right, you can go to town now. This is still so weird. I'm never gonna get used to this. When he almost immediately destroys himself. survived two of these bombs still and I've survived a previous bomb as well so I have experience how'd you get so much life two altars pretty much ghost does not spawn on all mech how many hours you invested in Splunky one 2700 just about yes bombs do 10 Interesting. Kinda concerning, but interesting. I knew that was safe. Not quite. Oh god. Oh, he stops fear. Oh. Okay, so if I did this, and then this, and then this. This. 
<laughs> I can't see the exit. I think it's here. Yeah, okay. Do we embrace Waddler? <laughs> I hate the sound effect. I really don't like it. We figured out how the onk works, at least in one situation. I don't know if it has multiple purposes, though. should be fine. Really? I mean, jeez, dude. They take my shotgun too, they did. Okay, well, I can't just leave them, so. Adam? Why'd you put the shotgun there? Why'd you do it? I got poisoned. Oh, no, 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 no! I got cursed! I'm an idiot. I don't remember what happened with the shopkeepers, but I remember not liking it. I think some guy just managed to like jump over my shots consistently. I probably should pay more attention to the shopkeep AI. I've been kind of just ignoring it entirely because our first run was so like clean about it. But I think we'll be better off if I just, like, actually focus on what they're doing. Because if they can dodge shots, I might need to worry about that. I don't think they can. I think I just got lucky, but... See you later, Turtle. Wait, what blew up? Oh, was there a bomb bag? <laughs> I was looking at the weapons and I was like, yep, we're good. Yeah, now that we know that a damsel can save us, that's good, but I don't really want to be exploring a temple level for a damsel. Like, I want to get in and get out as fast as I can. Well, it depends upon what boss you're talking about, because there's a boss at the sixth area. But there are, there's also Olmec, and then there's some other stuff, and it's weird. Speaking of which, let's have a little change of scenery. And go back to, um, Plasma Cannon Tiamat stuff. Okay, good start. Ask what I was doing and then wait a full like five seconds before saying hello question mark <laughs> if so that's impressive unlucky 
explain when it fell short. Is it longer after? Well, Olmec is literally earlier in this game than he is in Spelunky HD. Uh, but Olmec is not where the game ends, in case that's what you're wondering. There is plenty that comes after Olmec. Okay. Ow. Throw is in ice caves, apparently. Uh, are you okay? Ow. Stop. You're being unreasonable. You know what? You suck. Epic. This game is harder, as far as I can tell, but I it's also new, so it's... Like, compared to the first game, I know, like, as much as anyone can reasonably know about the first game. So that game is obviously going to be easier, in my opinion. But once I get more accustomed to this game, it might not be as much of an issue. I didn't land on the alien. <laughs> This is our sixth tile, so if we drop here, it should be safe. If it ever spawns on the right side. I ordered the drop to get the second later. Um, so you have to look at the wet fur section, a little entrance. You have to get thrown by a few yetis. It's pretty essential. Um, so... Okay. <laughs> I'll get there. We'll get there. The way it works is... Under this wet fur entrance area, there's always um, a set of one or two tiles. Right here. Um... And in order to be able to safely make the drop, you need to ledge hang on the side that is the same as the wet fur opening. So in this case, the safe spot is to ledge hang from the right side of one of those two tiles. If I could jump on a Yeti correctly, at least. So in this case, you drop from here, and it's safe. Unless he blew up the tiles, but in this case, we're fine. It won't always work because of that reason. Like, things can just blow up the tiles below. But the natural generation of the level is such that you can um, drop like that. Just have to hope it doesn't get ruined. I'm, like, this has to be, do you, no. Like, it's a one in three, right? How, how could I be missing a one in three so, so often? It just seems unreasonable. Maybe it's a one in six and I'm not splitting the difference well. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Jam, yeah, right. I love the part where it goes. Duh, 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 duh.
Trying to beat the game now? No. Um, so there is like a secret upper area above the boss in this area. Tiamat. There's an altar, wow. Um, and I've been meaning to try and get up there, but it's kind of difficult. And we're wondering if the plasma cannon would help in some way with doing that, because it theoretically could break some of the lasers that would otherwise be in the way. But we're not sure, we're, we'll see. We'll see if it works. If I can get through Neo Babylon, which lately I have not been able to do. So that's part one of doing it. So let's kill the boss. Like actually just outright kill it. Because there should be no reason for Tiamat to be alive here. <laughs> I love how she just like chills out afterwards. So no more random enemy spawns. Uh, we still need to hit, where, where is it relative to her? Above her head, okay. Ooh, nice water jump, by the way. Okay, and then we need to break stuff here. I'm gonna place a bomb because I do not trust the bubbles. I'm worried they'll blow it up in my face. I think it's fine. With that, we have a full suite of bubbles going up. Is this the final boss? I don't know. That's a great question. I'd love to know. So the question is, how are we gonna shoot the plasma cannon without dying? I guess I have to do the trick that I did before. Oh God. Preferably not like that though. Well, no, hold on. Ooh, perfect. This is so scary. I hate this part. Also, let's real quick. I can't tell if that's safe. I think it is. Okay. 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 I hate this, I hate this, it sucks. I know I'm gonna screw it up. Okay. Okay, so... We landed the shot, but I think we have to do it on both sides. Recoil, recoil is actually essential to this working, I think. We just need to hit the rope again. The recoil is a good thing because it sends us in the direction of the rope. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it needs to be done on both sides. That or it's protected. Could be either.
I forgot to be checking the bubbles, but I'm pretty sure the problem with bubbles is that even though a bubble can make it through, a bubble with a player on it probably can't. Because either you'll get hit or the bubble will, because you're too tall at that point. What about jetpack? Um... Oops, I didn't see that. Could get a jetpack, I guess, but jetpack can't refuel unless it touches the ground now, so... Unless you went the whole distance with one jetpack fuel burst, you'd be a little bit stuck. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what would happen, because I was thinking that I was going to take a shot and it would get stuck in the laser itself. But I suppose that's not a problem, theoretically, because it would just get reflected a bunch and then keep going. the aliens make now. I know you're gonna land on the edge. I don't. Or, oh, if you're talking about the um, ice caves drop, we should probably make a clip about that. Um, also, for the record, it wouldn't jetpack. If you, okay. The correct solution to that laser area is climbing gloves, hover pack. Not jetpack. Climbing gloves and hover pack. Because you can hover in between two lasers, go to the wall on the side, and then climbing gloves up to the next part. Hover pack, climbing gloves up, climbing gloves. That's it. That's that's the that's the correct solution. Just in case anyone needed it. Um, but I'm too lazy to get that exact circumstances lined up. <laughs> Yeah, the spaceship was down there. Long story. Very, very long story. Epic story, but long story. Or jetpack and ropes. Yeah, if you have a bunch of ropes, you could just try and time them, but you only get one spot of the rope, so you have to really awkwardly place them, like, blah, blah, blah. Your voice echoes in here means the level is, I think, six by six rather than four by four. To explain how I found the stupid thing in the abyss, this is a hole in the wall. You can find it on every ice caves level. It is one block above the ground and therefore you cannot enter it. However, sometimes in the ice caves, there is a push block generated in the upper half of the level. And if you take that push block and mess with it for two hours like I did, you can eventually line it up with this hole in the wall and enter it. That's how I did that. And I found the mothership. And then later on, we found out that there was a crevice in the mothership off the screen where... Planned. All, all planned. There is a crevice off the screen of the mothership where there was an exit that you could go to and it spawned us down here. 
And that's how we figured out that that door's there. We reverse engineered it. Took me a long it took me a long time to figure all this out, but Jesus Christ, was it worth it in the end? To find the freaking mothership? I didn't think it was gonna be even half as cool as that. I thought it was just gonna be some random thing where you like got like some extra resources and then I completely overestimated it. But no, it was a huge deal. I mean, we could just sit here for a while trying to get a hover pack climbing glove run this far if we really wanted to. Do you guys want to do that? Okay. Um. Let's give it a shot. I don't think I'm going to be going for quite as long today. I think I'll probably make it about eight hours or so. Um, so I'll give this a shot for a good while and then we'll see. You're starting ice caves for the shop would be the best way to do it? Um, we'd be banking on a lot of luck for that. Because, uh, hover pack and climbing gloves are not the same shop pool, so. We'd get one of them and hope we get the other, which, you know, could do, but. I'm gonna try and play this safe and not anger shopkeepers. Miss much, but we're gonna try and get to the top of the Tiamat's throne area with um hover pack climbing gloves. What? Oh my god. Fine, I'll slow down. I'm playing hasty. I keep taking very small instances of damage, so. <laughs> All right, whatever. Change my mind, playing hasty again. Trailers considered spoilers? Um, not to me, but yes, to other people. Although telling me like how to get something from the trailer, obviously, I won't be super keen on, but I watched the trailers and I got that much. Oh, if you think it means two ghosts, I've got news for you.
Oh, wow. Already. Well, that, that's nice, but I also feel a lot of pressure all of a sudden. Been playing kind of like Garbo today, so hopefully I don't screw this up. I mean, I'm trying to play safe, so. No, we don't need to ghost. We should have enough to be able to get away with this without ghosting. Hey, Zed. 20k, right? Yeah. Okay. So that gets us the hover pack. That's half the puzzle. I get the robot. I think it's in the ice caves. Um, we're trying to get to the top of Tiamat's throne. Are you kidding me? I've changed my mind. I'm not playing bad today. There's clearly a chaotic spirit willing itself against me. Like... Hover pack drain mech, you're right. I can't believe that. Uh, yo. Gold monkey. On a run where it's actually relevant. Cool. Feed me money. Would shield work for lasers? No, because it's on both sides. I love the music just stops. It's so funny. What about two shields? Great question. You would need to coordinate. Oh my god. It's okay, soundtrack. I'll wait. I, no, I... Okay. I'll put the freaking monkey on the altar after this. But... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being very mean about this idea. I'll put the monkey on the altar. It's not going to work, though. Yeah, the Ankh exists. I have gotten it a few times. Find a way to kill a monkey, you whip it. How do you get it though? Uh, just kill Olmec. Kill Olmec right on top of him, go through one of the doors and then go through that area and there'll be an Ankh at the top. You can kill him. I mean, there's lava at the bottom again. Just drop him in the lava, make him a platform. That's quote unquote killing Olmec. For this game, do you find iffy? There are small elements here and there um, that I occasionally am just like, ah. Um, I think bear traps are a good example of it. Like visibility in this game has been tweaked. Visibility has been super nerfed. And so if you're like me and you're not very good at seeing like a really small detail. See, he doesn't get sacrificed. Um, then you might struggle with Spelunky 2 because the visibility is a lot rougher than it was in the first game. 
I'm sorry. Is this how your voice echoes in here level? Please, please. <laughs> I admit that I'm frustrated by that. I, I should have seen it coming. Because the stupid idol trap can totally block off levels, and I didn't think about that. Until the ghost was there. Unfortunately for me, it really looked like it was the path that I was following. Much faster than going through all the levels. Again, if I get the hopper pack in the ice caves, cool. Then I'm banking on getting the climbing gloves in Neo Babylon. If you guys want to do it that way, I can do it that way. I just don't think we're ever going to get an attempt that has that. How sure the ghost takes a split? I don't know, actually. I haven't timed it yet. for the health. Okay, we can bring them together. There's a jetpack though. Again, jetpack doesn't refuel unless you touch the ground. Not ledge grab, not grab a rope. You have to touch the physical ground to refuel your jetpack. So unless you're banking on being able to go all the way through the top with one jetpack fill, you're not gonna make it, right? It was a pretty big change. Hover pack, on the other hand, is infinite, but it doesn't give you any height, so the climbing gloves would be that replacement for the height. This should be free ghosting, unless I'm insane. So we'll do this. I've gotten to 6 4. Tiamat's throne. Jetpack does not refuel with ropes or ledge grabs anymore. Not really. I feel like the two health from the turkeys is almost always going to be better. Caveman can carry a damsel, yeah. In the first game, anything that you grabbed would refuel the jetpack. Ledge grabs, ropes, and the and like being on the ground would refuel the jetpack. That isn't true anymore. The jetpack got nerfed. Um, which means that now, um, you have to land on the ground to be able to refuel your jetpack, and it's a warranted nerf, to be honest. But the result is that you can't just use it to get through Tiamat's ceiling for free. Which is why I'm going for this whole strat. Uh, we can get another golden monkey. It's tempting. What's the shop? It's a specialty shop. Come on, Jesus. No hover pack. Um, can I nail this? No, no, I can't. All right. On the bright side, bomb box is pretty cool. Medic's pretty cool. Um. Yoink. And bye. 
How much does the gold monkey give compared to the idol? More. Yeah, I'm not doing eggplant. <laughs> We've got other fish to fry. We'll get to eggplant though. That's not worth it. <laughs> Oops, sorry, uh. That was, um, an interesting sound. Again, kind of sounds like a bowling alley, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, you're fine. No, not gonna, not gonna make the jump. Man, I don't understand that boss. I swear, I have it like exactly backwards for when he will and when he won't roll. Because I'm like nearly certain it's distance. But wow, that distance feels finicky. feels like bad RNG. I think it's like, I think you need to be a certain distance and then he might roll and then the further distance he definitely rolls. But that further distance seems like you can't get at the start, if that makes sense. So I think your first roll is always variable. And I keep getting messed up because like, he doesn't do it when I expect him to. And then I'm like, okay, he's not gonna do it here either. And then he does, so. pack, which is like a hover pack, but power. Turkeys, huh? Did you order a mole? Did you order a cobra? Jesus. Okay, so we can get two health pretty much for free here. In fact, you could argue we get three. How do you get the clothing gun? That's a great question. I've never seen it so far. Outside of the trailers, obviously, where we all saw it. See that? He just poked in for a second. It's weird not seeing gold, like, destroy everything. I, I hope I didn't miss the key. I probably did, but I hope I didn't. Okay, there it is. The jump? Okay, hold on. We're gonna do that. 
And then I'm willing to use a rope here. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Ugh, it hurts. It hurts to be the way I am. I cannot wait for PC release. I just can't wait, because those things will become 80% less frequent. gotten 6-4. I'm not really worried about progress right now. I could have beaten the game earlier, but I got bigger fish to fry. Everyone else is beating the game. I'm doing stupid stuff. Literally, I just wanted to have a little fun and do a bunch of bounces in a row, and I immediately take like seven damage. <laughs> I forgot what game I was playing. Oops. I like am brain dead. I'll just say it, I'm brain dead. Streaming for 12 hours yesterday and 10 hours the day beforehand must be taking its toll on me. To be fair, I slept plenty, but I think playing a video game nonstop has its own adverse effects. Uh, okay. You two can get out of the first area. I don't know, actually. I've heard there's a jungle, but I'm pretty sure the game ends after that boss fight. It's really hard. I've never beaten it before. If there was more stuff, that would mean I'm bad, and that's not true, so. Right, the key's up here, I already saw that, okay. I mean, the 16 areas comment isn't even true. <laughs> like, there's more than that. save our money for the uh, important stuff if you catch my drift. It's tempting to rob. And honestly, I think I am going to start robbing in a sec. Not, not this run, I mean like next run I might start robbing. Just because we're kind of running an RNG situation anyway, I might as well try and run it. Um, drag bro. Oh, 
Oh, I died. That's sad. Um, I guess I'll use a rope for health and then not use the bomb. Oops. I know the character. Oh, 16 areas. I see. Dear God, what an idea. Oh my God. Why did you stop? Uh, a clip of, clip of me dropping, you mean? Now we figured that one out on our own. It's inconsistent, though, with the current strat. Everything about Splunky, uh, how replayable it is. I can just play this game forever. And ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna start doing um, shopkeeper robberies instead, because this feels like a situation that just works better if we run the odds aggressively. Don't do the ghost pot, you're robbing shoppies. Don't be ridiculous. Ugh. Okay. Wait, he died, oh my god. Poor shopkeep. What? I thought it was dead. I swear, these remnants of Lunky One ideas in my brain, they're gonna be around for a long time. is rough. Um, oh, that was helpful. Uh, okay, let's do that instead. Nope. Okay, this is the opposite of the intended effect. Uh, I hate this. I will use a rope begrudgingly. Okay, now we'll do that and hope it does something. Beautiful. Couldn't have worked better. 
big bombs are gonna be hard to get used to. gotten past snake underworld place yet no like to test it with power pack maybe if i remember at least <laughs> power pack uh makes weapons stronger so in the case of the shotgun you shoot faster and you recoil less which is technically a nerf because good god the recoil less means you can't shotgun jump and shotgun jumping is epic the arrow trap. Oops. Please don't kill the cat. Awesome, but could you have, like, not created a sheer cliff while you were at it? It's okay. We'll just put a bomb, uh, nowhere, because I can't... Okay. Listen. Listen. Look. Maybe we can just get back up. Right? Yeah, okay. I was freaking out, but I was gonna say, listen, I'll just do... Not that. I... Oh, God. I need to not stream for 10 hours a day. Oh, my God. Well, it's not really that. It's the freaking combination of that and a controller. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. my brain. There's a piece of the puzzle. Oh boy. Anyway, the, the joke I was going to make was that I was going to try and throw the damsel up like that. But, um, it didn't work because I threw the damsel down because I am mentally degraded. Um, as you can tell because I just put the damsel on the exit, so. Uh, I literally cannot catch a break. Every 10 seconds I do something monumentally stupid and I crave death. Don't stream 10 hours a day. I, I cannot recommend it less. Ropes are good. We're trying to get into the upper area of Tiamat's throne, the place with the lasers. Um, and what I'm pretty sure is the ideal strat is hover pack plus climbing gloves. I think that's the way to do it. So we're trying to get that going, which is the only reason why I ever took climbing gloves just now. So now I just need to try and get uh, hover pack and we should be good. I mean, yeah, I'm still gonna stream Spill like I do whenever I'm awake, but I'm gonna hate it until I get a keyboard sometimes because when my brain is fried, I can't play with this stupid controller. I just can't do it.
Ugh. It seems like a few people are confused, so I'm going to reiterate the occasional reiteration about how we operate on this stream. If you are interested in discussing spoilers, speculation, hints, or otherwise, you're going to want to use the alternate chat on a channel that is currently hosting me. That place allows any of those things in any capacity. If you do them in this chat, your messages will be removed, uh, and if you continue to do it, you might get timed out. We do this because I want to be able to experience this game purely and only with assistance as I find it appropriate. If you don't like that, cool. Uh, watch another streamer. Uh, but it shouldn't be that bad. Like, it should be pretty simple. <laughs> uh, that's a hired help shop, which is not going to have a hover pack, in fact. We're still blocked off here. Uh, perfect. Less perfect now that it revealed the shopkeepers and broke the ghost pot. Okay. Okay. If the spoilers keep happening, you can start timing people out. Like, if people are too, like, dense to get the message, just time them out. Obviously, preferably, like, give them a warning first, but... Ooh, okay. Well, now the freaking pressure's on, huh? No! So the hover pack's gone. Oh my god, the freaking voodoo guy talks. That's terrifying. You just kill chat, please, maybe. Black Market could have one, yeah. Ugh. Miscon drug with power. No, you just were kind of rude earlier. Like I, I get it, Sergeant. You got a bit of a spice to you, but I would prefer you don't respond to getting moderated with. Ooh, ha ha! Funny mod, funny mod, mod. that the spring shoes are gonna kill me. <laughs> Good boomer, thank you for the tier one sub, I appreciate it. Jerry Kinaka Docs, I'll be on Twitch. For as long as you're subscribed, I hope you're swell, thank you. But look, chat, no hard feelings, I don't care. Things are gonna get awkward. Goodness gracious, thank you for giving me five tier one subs. <laughs> to whom it may apply, Jerry Kinaka Docs, I'll be on Twitch for as long as you're subscribed. I appreciate it, I hope you're swell. But seriously, look, let me make so something exceedingly clear. One, I understand vitriol. It's okay. If you guys get annoyed at spammers, I get it, but please try to keep it in. Even snide remarks can lead to other people getting grumpy. And second of all, I get that our spoiler rules are a little bit awkward. It's okay if you accidentally say something or get a message poked for no reason. And also, our mods don't know everything, so they might poke something that isn't even a spoiler. And that would be 
the most horrifying possible outcome. But when it happens, that's okay too. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, as long as everyone involved is just trying to coexist a little bit, then we're good, we're cozy, and there's no hard feelings. It is, it is not anything personal. I don't hate any of you, except for the ones who didn't believe me when I was right about the mothership. You're all out, okay? Okay, so we have a black market on 2-4. Oh, wow. Whew. This really isn't Splunky HD anymore. Hey. Yeah, 72% of Shaq can stay. The rest, out! I'll see you at the door. Oh, please. Chomp. Oh. Oh, I don't like it. I miss shotgun lighting. I miss it a lot. Oh God, please! Please, no! Market. Okay, all right, cool. Wasn't nervous. Ah! That's three. Why, 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 why? I, I can't. Oh, he dodged. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't want to kill the cat. I really didn't. Okay. Okay, I get a second chance. I don't deserve it, but I get it. Junior's loving it. I'm, I'm, uh, <sighs> you idiots! All right, it's in here. Look, okay, we got a hover pack in a wall earlier. We can get another hover pack, okay? Their corpses are gone. Like, they deserve to be desecrated so much. Yeah, the freaking shotgun destroying stuff. I mean, I think it's an understandable nerf. Like, I don't blame them for making that nerf. It's just really annoying in the context of that exact thing. Because this is the ice caves. No, no, sorry. This is the Olmec fight now. It's not the ice caves. I lied to you. I'm sorry. All right, listen. Let's be honest, we're probably not getting a hover pack. What do you say we just go back to, um... Oh God, I forgot. Never mind. It's cool, it's fine. So, what happened, Hectic? You kind of look like an idiot. I am an idiot, let's not get that misunderstood. I'm stupid. I'm the dumbest person on this earth. However, the reason why I died there is because Olmec behaves differently if you skip the cutscene versus if you don't. Which is a bit annoying. And it's the reason that that happened, but uh, it's fine. It's cool. 
It's okay. It's cool. It's fine. Those are not the packs I want. I... Okay. <laughs> yeah, Olmec automatically jumps, um, or jumps quicker if you skip the cutscene versus if you um, wait it out. And I was busy talking, so I didn't skip the cutscene like I normally do. Oh, poor mole. Poor mole. By the 3080? Oh, does it come out, like, shortly? It's tempting me to get a new build, but we'll, we'll see if I commit to it or not. See if the power pack could do it? Uh, yeah, it's terrifying. It's a mortifying idea. You are the reason I'm afraid. Don't pour mole me. Moles deserve no- There's so much vitriol towards moles and it's hilarious. I actually really like the mole anime. Ah, so you're experiencing the pain I experienced for Lunky 2. Silver. Makes a certain kind of sense. I'm not sure how high to the spoiler shadow will be. I'm assuming it'll be in and out a lot. Well, that was fine. Okay, I thought you'd move to the right. I was wrong. Uh, okay. give this like at least another half hour but whew, I, I am feeling the results of um, streaming as much as I have been the last few days in full force now right around the head region there you go for all the mole haters out there that one goes to you Express delivered from my whip. Ugh. Get one of the fire resistant cards because there's limited stock. Ah, I see. Incredible. Oh. Our shop keeps worse than this one. I don't know. They're weird. They're weird. Ugh. Okay, we're fine. Okay, well, that's part one. Right there. <laughs> I love the looking up animation. It's so funny. Okay. This time I'll hopefully not screw up again. I'm not gonna be myself too much beat myself up too much um, for the black market thing because it's just hard to get them to not shoot everything. Crit 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 criticisms. <laughs> Do you mean between Spelunky HD and, and Spelunky 2? I can't give a verdict on this game. It's been like three days. I need way more time before I can make a decision on what's better. So far, I feel like this game has um, more flaws than Spelunky HD, but I think that's by the nature of this game being way bigger than that game, right? And I haven't gotten to the meat of all the content yet, so there could be some incredible stuff waiting that I haven't yet seen. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay. This is nice just because it means that like future stuff will be a lot easier. Oh wow, alright. Gonna be one of these situations, huh? I wonder. 50 health out of 1-2 maybe? Unfortunately, again, we use the freeze ray, so we can't um, sacrifice the shopkeep corpse, but, you know. I have no idea where the kitty is, so I guess we'll book it. Uh, the strat that I've been doing is throw a rope on top of them. Um, they'll drop ne or like right next to you or right on you, throw them out of the shop, and then grab their shotgun. Be careful of shooting explosive stuff, though, because if you shoot jetpacks or bombs, they'll explode. Can you get it to climbing just by the climbing gloves, maybe with the side of jetpack? How am I going to get to the left side with just climbing gloves? I mean, I guess I could get a jetpack and then just climbing glove my way all the way up. We could give that a shot, but... Hover pack is the ideal case for this sort of thing. It's just the best item for the cause. I'm sure there's multiple ways you could make it work. I just think hover pack's the best. All right, the only time that's acceptable. You'll never get away with that again, Kali, so cherish it. So theoretically we have a working build here, but we'll see. Oh my God, I'm gonna hate this. I'm gonna hate it so much. It's not good, it's bad, but I'm gonna put up with it. Um, the lizard is worth uh, two points alive and one point dead like most other things in the mines. Ooh, that's a bomb box. You tempt me. Climbing gloves, why? What is Tiamat? Uh, yeah, Tiamat is the mermaid lady. So above her, there's this weird area that seems to just ascend super high, but there's a bunch of lasers in the way. And so we're trying to get a build that can navigate those lasers successfully. Ugh. Cannot be sacrificed because it explodes. Uh, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, we just need to play this run so incredibly safe. Like, this is our big opportunity right now. Like, I'm not even gonna carry the damsel. It's just too much of a liability, sorry. God, that's a, quite the sensation, just watching those drop. All right, playing it safe, going pretty good so far. That sucks. <laughs> uh, do we cut our losses? Nah, I think it's worth potentially getting ropes. You know what? I'll cut my losses. Don't worry, I'm still playing terribly even if I've gotten a jetpack. Some things never change. Okay, so... If we're going to Tiamat's throne, we might as well take the easier route, right? So just go Volcana, the other thing, and we'll get to Neo Babylon, and that's that. So easy route. Dang. Uh, 
Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. We'll just do it with jetpack climbing gloves. If we find a hover pack that we can snag, great, sure. In fact, maybe I won't even do that. Maybe we'll just do it with a jetpack, because jetpack's obviously better than hover pack. Um, it's just worse for that one situation. This both controller and keyboard. I'll try that later. We won't do that right now. On Anel's first video, it did. It might be only if you plug in a keyboard. It would be pointless for it to show you keyboard controls when you don't have a keyboard plugged in, you know? PS4 allows you to plug in a keyboard, but most games don't account for a keyboard because um, they're on the PS4, which is not a keyboard-based console, so... Okay. Volcana, I have never been so happy to see you in my life. You are a treasure. If I have ever said anything bad about you, I take it back. A welcome opportunity. I'll just use a bomb here, make this a little bit nicer. There's um, some cooked meat there. Don't know how I got there, but I will happily take it. I guess that turkey was here and then the ladybug kind of ruined the day. All right. So that puts us up to a territory where we're safe from a bomb and some shopkeepering. And given that I almost just stumbled upon him at the exit, it's probably for the best that that's the case. find a dev console, nice. I have one game with keyboard support and then the other doesn't. Well, it's been eight years under, <laughs> to be fair. What does breaking Kali's altar do? Um, for the first one, it spawns a bunch of enemies. I haven't broken more than that because I'm a wimp. Here, here, come over here. Leprechaun, come get me. I'm right over here. Is he too smart for me? He's too smart for me. Um, is there any benefit to drill? I don't think so. I legitimately think this is a disadvantage unless we're trying to do it. Oh my god. I didn't like that. They can destroy your jetpack. Just a heads up, they can do that. We get something else. Infected <sighs> pug. Another name. They were the prime sub for twelve months. I almost used a jetpack. I thought I had it. I, I tried to use it. It didn't work. Enjoy your cute angry dogs all throughout Twitch for as long as you're subscribed and your purple badge. I appreciate it. I hope you're soft. Thank you. 
very much. Ever seen a lava frog? The big one that shoots lava? If it's that, then yes. But yeah, I would generally be careful about stuff like that, because if I haven't seen the enemy, well then that would be a problem. <laughs> Lucky 2 also stresses me out, but mostly because it makes me look like an idiot in front of people. Man, ugh. I don't love that this is what we're banking stuff on, but I suppose that's how it goes sometimes. Look at genius to us, maybe yesterday. Okay, so skip the cutscene so we get the easier fight. about it you don't have to reposition all mech his position will just be by default easy all right well if you want to hook me up with a jetpack and or hover pack water china area that'd be cool Ooh. oh oh deserve this Did you just rob me oh come on I don't want to oh my god why do you have to do it like this why why This run, why this run? Oh God! Uh, I have 21 bombs. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Okay. Oh God! No! Why? Oh my God! Why do you hate me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being me. I'll never do it again. So upset. I feel very strong emotions. Ha! Ah, who's on the ceiling now? Both of us. That's the answer. Oh my god.
I think he died. Oh, does the symbol update per level? Okay, thank God. I didn't think it did because I saw, I thought I saw, Never mind. it's fine. I, I should at least check it. It can't hurt to check. Oh my God. Yeah, guess who's gonna put a bomb down? It's me. Good guess, good job. God, I love the Zhangxi, they're so cute in this game. Does this break the um, thing? It does. Important thing to consider. would like to get the shotgun. So I'm going to try to get the shotgun. This is the worst possible area for it though, so maybe I shouldn't. No, we're not doing that right now. Jesus Christ. Another time. <laughs> Okay, it's the place that I am very good at completing. I have notoriously finished this place maybe one time or two. At least I have bombs like crazy though. Look at that turkey. Look at that turkey. Please look at that turkey. It's making me feel better. It's making me feel a lot better. Oh my God, that turkey. Thank God, I have a shotgun. Oh my God. Oh, oh, the game has changed. That's fine.
can hover while shot shooting. Please, I don't have all day. gotta be dead. I can't do this. I cannot do this right now. I can't. I can't emotionally deal with what you're doing to me. <sighs> Don't get excited. We have another level. There's another entire level, and then I have to actually do it too. It's not a free trick. I have to actually do the trick itself. Oh, that's fine, it's fine. I wanna die. Is that freaking shop? Yeah, you think so? Oh my god, he's gonna come after me. He's shooting the torch away. The genius. Nine bombs left. Nine. Excellent, all, all around cool time. I, I, I crave death. That, that, that is the natural byproduct of this circumstance. Oh my God. I can't do it. I have to call it there. That's too much. I can't. I can't. I tried. <laughs> Exploration point social. Listen, I gave it my best shot. We'll give this another shot later, but oh my god, I couldn't be more emotionally torn apart. If you're not currently on my Discord server, I highly recommend that you join it. I announce my streams there, have early to schedule, post uploads, post polls. You can talk to people. So if you'd like to keep up with stuff, um, join the Discord. It's a cool place. Um, I am done for today. Wraps up day three. We didn't make much progress today, but leave it 10 hearts. We got to do what though? 
In, in case anyone missed that, let's just show it again. We got two duat. A desert of ash and fire burning beneath an eternal blood moon. The domain of the god Osiris. We'll kill Osiris later. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for me. So uh, I'll be live again the next time, sometime tomorrow. Um, most likely once I wake up and it'll be cool and good. We'll be maybe trying the Tiamat thing. Maybe we'll go back to Duat. Um, maybe we'll find some other secret area. I don't know. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the Splunky 2 stuff. I've been so excited to play this game. I'm so excited to be playing this game. And I'm so excited that you guys are enjoying it. So um, I'm going to keep doing it until it kills me. Which, based upon that run, won't take very long. I give it a week. Like the end of this week. Maybe I'll make it to Saturday. Not super likely. Um, yeah, okay, cool. And and uh, last but not least, uh, thank you for um, Patreon. Um, I'm missing one name because it happened like the last night and I didn't notice until like the last second. So let me make sure I remember that. Okay, thank you to Doctor Clash, Jinji, Deli, Facetius, Anon, Wizard, Granite Girl, Chooks, originally Major Viper, Fatalized, Sajay, Monkey Man, We Stock, Kai, Arrow, Codename Turtle, Spook Doggo, Iron Scales, Sleepy Cheese. Melody, Shade Thomas, The Pencil, Meth, Dee, Hyrox, Super Turtle, Revelista, um, NK, Undertire, Jumbo. Thank you for your patience on Patreon. You are all great. I appreciate it a bunch. Thank you all for sticking around. Um, we will be doing more, and I will hopefully be doing better by not streaming for as long today. I cut off a whole four hours. Are you proud of me? <laughs> but seriously, thank you so much for being here. You're, I, I, it means the world to me. This is the most important video game release of all time for me. Nothing will top it. And tomorrow we will do more great things. Maybe I'll eventually beat the game, but studies show I won't allow myself to do that until I know everything because Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. We'll see you later. See you tomorrow. Hopefully, maybe bye. Thank you all for stopping by. You're all great. Cool. Awesome. Cool. Bye. Cool. Bye.